So you guys are in this cavern. What are you going to do? Well, considering, uh, considering when we left off, we're pretty, pretty sure that's, that's the guy who's, who's doing this. Uh, I see no other way than to, uh, cast guiding bolt on him. All right, go ahead. You gonna push th- push past us into the room to cast guiding bolt? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Why wouldn't yeah. I? Just yeah, because it looks like I was boop. coming in with flick. Yep. Just boop. Jump so between you two. I'm done with this. <laughs> uh, is it just no, never mind. I think Kendra's sick of being in a cave. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Um, I'm terrified. I rolled earlier and it was a nat one. Oh no. Okay, that's... I can do math, I swear. 16. Hold on, I apologize. (laughs) Drinks are on me after! (sighs) (laughs) There we go. You may need one now. Remember how beefy we were last time, guys? (laughs) Yeah. Why? Why would you say that? <laughs> because I like tempting fate. <laughs> okay. Only tempt fate if you brought loaded dice. Oh, <laughs> not twenty all day. Right. All right. So, what did you roll on it? Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen definitely hits. Cool. Awesome. Well, now we you've made it angry. angry. We've made it angry. I kind of don't care. <laughs> What does Guiding Bolt do again? Uh, It's 14 damage, and Guiding Bolt... uh, Let me just... uh, So it took 14 Radiant Damage, and uh, the next attack roll made against the target for the end of my next turn has advantage. All right. Good deal. So, obviously, he, he gets hit in the back by this bright light that just envelops him and it almost like shocks his system everybody roll for initiative yeah <laughs> shooting someone in the back now Kendra it seems you're taking after the rogue well I'm upset just rolled my nat 20 finally <laughs> on initiative I got 11 that was supposed to happen last time <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh, well. I got initiative 11 so uh, 13. With my initiative bonus, it's 23. And Rowan? 10. 10. Liam? You're muted. That was a, that was weird. Uh, I rolled a 9. <laughs> All right. Okay, so Sora, you are up, but first, while after that guy gets hit, you all of a sudden, in the baskets, come crawling out numerous hands, and they are just decayed and clawed, and I mean, the skin is just sucked into the ligaments they are they are dead hands that have obviously been cut off and they are crawling out of these baskets and they are absolutely coming for you but sora you are up up first okay i would like to Mm -hmm. oh i've never done this before i would like to sacred flame Right here. All right, rolled a hit. Uh, it's just a deck save of twelve. Right? Do I need to hit for that? I've never done that before. Oh no. Um. 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 No. You. You were correct. Dexterity save, and that's going to get. Do it again. How? How's the range on that? Uh, it's 
60 feet and it's a deck save of 12. Okay. And you did it right about here? Yeah, like right here. Okay. Or what's its area? So oh, it is. Um, let's see. Flame like radiance extends on a creature that you can see within range. The target must succeed on a deck save throw of. Or take oh, I, I thought it was like an area of effect thing. Yeah, so it's a single target. Yeah. Okay. So it would probably be like this hand right here. Okay. Uh, the second lower one? Yeah. Okay. Roll the hit. Oh, no. I rolled a save. Okay. On yeah. it. <laughs> All right. That is... Seven. Miss. All right. Um, it's a hit. It's a hit. So, I, yeah. so it's a D, 1D8 damage. So... It would be five. Yeah. Yeah. Five. Five damage. Yep. Perfect. All right. So a column of flame just shoots down from the sky and just hits this hand. And it it is instantly, it just disintegrates uh, into little light ashes that just kind of float around. It's gone for sure. And Blick, you're up. All righty. We're going to <clears throat> move to the side to get a better firing angle and not group up in us in the doorway. Let some of the every, other every, let everybody else through, as uh, we're going to draw up an acid splash cantrip. So. Drawing a flask from her bag, Flick pulls out and, using the slingshot on her arm, fires an acid flask, targeting this hand and this hand, because they're within five feet of each other. And they have a dex 13 save. <laughs> Seven again. And the other one? Seven. Oh. Twelve. Okay, they both fail. All right, what, what's your damage? Five. Acid. Now, is that spread between them, or five each? Uh, five each. Okay. All right. So you guys are just laying waste to these hands. They're not even getting movement in. The two hands just get splashed with green acid, and they're just melt into the ground, creating a... Got just a puddle of goo. It's gonna uh, smell terrible. <laughs> Rowan, you're up. Okay. Let's see. I am going to move up. Should probably mark which ones are dead. Yeah. You did these two, right? Mm -hmm. No, these two. Those two. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go up to the one that's right in front of me. And I'm going to pull out my Warhammer to bludgeon it. <laughs> Oh, a 10. It still hits. <laughs> All right. How nimble do you think a hand on its own? <laughs> you never think know. a hand from... Um, Have you ever seen a young family? family? <laughs> hey. So... Then we get five damage. All right. That's the magic number today. Yep. <laughs> So instead of turning into something, that one just gets literally squashed 
flat like a spider. <laughs> and and I will actually with the rest of my movement uh -huh. move back here. Okay. And I'm done. All right. That brings us to Liam. How far, how much uh, distance is each square again? Five feet. Five feet, okay. Okay. Well, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I can run up behind the necromancer, and that's 30 feet. And I'm going to stab him in the back with my uh, short sword. Okay. So, hit for that. That is a 20. Definitely hits. Um, and that's not sneak attack, right? Uh, no, sneak attack, no. you have to have advantage or someone else in melee range of him. Right, and I don't have advantage because Kendra hit him with a guiding bolt earlier. Yeah. Well, no, you do have advantage. Because she hit him with the guiding bolt, no one else has attacked yes. him. You do have advantage. Oh, that's right. Yeah, no one's attacked him yet. Yep. Oh, okay. Then uh, sneak attack. Let's add that in. Um, we'll roll, so that out, roll that other d20. You might get a crit. Who knows? Uh, d20 in terms of just like a uh, hit? Yeah, yeah roll the d20 as, as because you're rolling with advantage. Okay. If one okay. of them gets a crit, then. That's a nine. Okay, we're going with the other one. Yep, we're going to go with 20. Uh, and that is 6 plus sneak oh, attack, man. which is... Oh, God, sneak attack was just a 1. Um, That's a 7. Okay, so that's 7. 7 damage. Great. And correct me if I'm doing this wrong. Can I use my bonus action to disengage? Correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Because I've got cunning action. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm disengaging. What does I mean, that do? You can disengage, but you don't have any movement left, so. Right. You wouldn't need to disengage. Disengaging is if you're trying to leave out of his reach with movement, which without getting hit, then he wouldn't be able to hit you. Okay. Well. I guess I'm gonna be face to face, no regardless. <laughs> can, you can you take a dodge action as a bonus action? Uh, no, yeah. all I got is dash, disengage, or hide. Oh, no. ah. <clears throat> you could try to hide under his cloak. Yeah, just... <laughs> all right. You could dash and run away, but then he would get the attack opportunity. Oh, well, I'm the tank now. Uh... <laughs> Save me. <laughs> All right. So. Do we want to try to kill this guy or just knock Let's... him out so we can interrogate? Ask the sorceress. <laughs> I mean. Why me? Personally, you I think try him. Not to kill. I don't know what that magic does. Neither do I half of the time. Then why did you shoot him? Because. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna speak up and say that we're just gonna try and knock him out and not actually like kill him, kill him. So we can interrogate. Fine, fine, Rowan. I gotta kill all the fun. <laughs> no, I just mean, once we get the information, then you can kill him. Okay, okay. So that brings us to the zombie. All right. So obviously the zombie's just going to swing right around. So he turns around. I guess I didn't. Re I revealed that a little early. He <laughs> turns around and you just see, you immediately can see that he is a, a zombie. And he's just, his face is completely, jaws half um half dislodged the skin's just sucked into the bone um he's missing an eye 
and he swings around and he just goes to basically uh, claw at Liam here. Can zombies talk? I don't know. <laughs> okay, maybe we could just kill them then. <laughs> All right, so that's uh, 19. 19 minutes. All right. Oh. So seven points. Oof. So Fuck. he just swings around and rakes you across <clears throat> the face. Okay. Okay. I'm about, yeah. I'm about halfway now. Can, can can I just scream something out as I get hit? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Can any, can everybody see my hit points now that they're up? I just shout out, you fight like a dairy farmer. <laughs> All right, so it is. Should we make should we make everyone's hit points visible on their token so we can just kind of see how well everybody is holding up or not? In order to be able to view it, you have to be able to control the token. Um, well, the other game I'm in has it set up so the hit points are viewable for everyone for the party, but we can't control each other's tokens. Then I don't know how to do it that way. I don't know. I just know that's how I don't it even see your hit points, anyways. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So this claw is going to make an attack against Rowan. It just scuttles across the ground and comes straight for her. And. That is four to hit. <laughs> what, what, what hand? <laughs> so basically the hand just comes up and latches onto your pant leg. Aww. And that's Holy about cat. it. <laughs> Give it a name. <laughs> Bring it with us. Fluffy. <laughs> All right. Back to Kendra. This. It's a repulsive situation. <laughs> you said that about the last one. This is all repulsive. I just want to get out of here. So, what Kendra shall be doing is uh, she reaches her hand up and point, pointing it at the robe zombie, just firebolt. <sighs> oh. <laughs> okay. Um... Is that a d save or, or is that a no, hit? No, that's, that's me attacking. Okay. That is 22. Okay. On the zombie, right? Yes. That absolutely hits. Okay. Meanwhile, Liam just yells out, watch it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure a 22 would hit anything in the room. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, only does three fire damage. Three? Okay. Every little bit counts. All right. Movement to uh, just kind of go behind the person with armor. <laughs> All right. I have armor too. It's not as good, but I have armor. Sora, <laughs> you're up. <clears throat> I would like to. Um. Is this hand still here? Yes. There is one hand by the stone and one hand by the, the cleric. Okay. I'm going to move like right here and sacred flame that hand. Go for it. Oh, save DC. Got it. Yeah. Uh, 18. Ah, damn. Okay. <laughs> I shoot wide. <laughs> All right. Flick. We'll continue working our way around the room. Let's arrange all my stuff. And we will might as well clean up this hand here with a firebolt. So loading up another flask, this time glowing orange against the slingshot. 
Flick lets it fly with an attack roll of 16. 16 hits. And that is four. Six damage. Oh. Fire. <laughs> All right. You said on the zombie, didn't you? On the hand. On the hand. Okay. That hand just crump, just casts on fire. <laughs> and it tries to crawl away, but it's just this flaming hand and eventually just... It's basically covered in burning oil. Yeah, it just falls flat. <laughs> it <laughs> continues to burn. Uh, anything else? Uh, that's it for me. Rowan. Um, there's one wrong. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my war hammer <laughs> and you can do a side swing, like a golf swing, <laughs> not like down at my leg, but to the side. Which way? Are you right-handed or left-handed? <laughs> uh, which leg is he on? <laughs> We'll say you're left. Okay, so I come down like a baseball bat golf swing <laughs> from the right down. So if I miss, I don't take my own leg out. <laughs> <clears throat> and that will be a dirty 20. <laughs> it, it definitely. You smack this thing and it makes the worst crunching sound as it just goes flying into the rock wall and actually splays like splatter splays against the wall and just kind of slowly drips down. I literally right. have like one HP left so I didn't even need the wall damage. What was that? I did it literally have like one HP left so I didn't have to roll damage? No, it just <laughs> they the hands only have two. <laughs> Health points each. <laughs> okay, and I guess uh, since I haven't moved, I will go ahead and um, move up to the zombie. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go ahead and use one of my bonus actions, War Priest, which allows me uh, to make a second weapon attack. Dirty 20 again. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> hits. Okay. Go ahead and roll for damage. It'll be seven damage. Seven bludgeoning. Okay. So he's he's looking he's looking pretty hurt. Uh, Liam, you are up, sir. Guess you just remember that they could have done a bonus attack last turn. <laughs> um, but speaking of, I am going to very quickly, hold on. How do I check my, um, my range again? For, like... How far you can move, or how far, like, what weapon will you be using? Uh, just how far I can move. I, I saw that someone had the arrow up with, like, distance before. Oh, on the top left, you mm -hmm. see there's an icon with a circle and a ruler in it? Yes. If you click that, you can click and drag uh, that, yeah. Ooh, perfect. Okay. Uh, I'm going to run behind Sora, because I'm, I'm less than half elf, and I'm very squishy right now. <laughs> so uh Liam <laughs> Liam's a lot of things, but he's not gonna he's not stupid enough to get himself killed. Are you gonna bonus action disengage? Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> you I mean literally any other party member can heal you at this point. <laughs> if yes. you need it. Um moved, I just I used disengage. Okay. Am I still able to attack if I throw a weapon? Yeah, you only use your bonus and you've moved, so you can still do your action. Okay, so I'm going to throw my dagger at him. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be uh, 16 to hit. Uh, definitely hits. 
Okay. And that is... Five. It's a magic number. It really is. <laughs> All right. Just for style, can I say I'm throwing it at his throat? Can you what? Just for style, can I say I'm throwing it at his throat? Sure. Or with love of it? Yeah, go for it. Okay. <laughs> Just, oh, oh. You so one Liam, one note. Uh, I th I think that's long range for a throwing dagger because it's more than twenty feet. So you would roll with disadvantage. I would roll with disadvantage. Right. So a dagger has a range of uh, range of twenty, a long range of sixty. Right. And, and since it's more than twenty feet, it's long range. So you would roll with disadvantage. Is it more than twenty? Yes. Oh, that's actually good. No, I was not. I did not know that. Oh, neither did I. Okay. Thanks for the heads up. So I'll roll that again. And that is. The only reason I remember that is because I was trying to build a throwing weapon character. <laughs> so, so 16 was the lower of the two. Okay. It um, still hits. Yeah. That was still. Uh, that so was we'll keep the same damage then. Okay. Throwing right at this throw. <laughs> All right. Uh, so is. You should have sneak attack because uh, there's a there's an enemy of the enemy within five feet, right? Yeah, I'm right next to him. Yep. So yeah. have sneak attack damage as well. Thank you guys. That's a one. <laughs> <laughs> so six damage in total. Hey, every little bit counts. Yeah. Wait, wait! I need that back. <laughs> <laughs> one. All right. So, Liam, he somehow manages to like dash and dodge and he backs he runs straight behind uh the big dragonborn and as he turns he just like underhand flicks his dagger around her and it goes straight into its throat and you just say oh. but it's still standing uh, okay I want and that dagger back the zombies turn So the zombie is actually, it, it's going to turn and make a swipe at uh, Rowan. Read it. <laughs> that is eight to hit. Misses. All right. So she swings, the zombie swings around uh, and just completely, Rowan's able to like dash back and totally misses her. And we are back to top of the line. Kendra. <laughs> Who still hasn't really entered the room yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, she came in and shot it in the back and then ran away. <laughs> um, that's an action. That's nothing for bonus action. Okay. Um, Liam, how badly on on a on a scale of one to ten, uh, how how bad does that hurt? Um, let me put it this way: uh, kidney stones times ten. <clears throat> hmm. Fine. You're doing fine. Going to. Uh, going to expend one use of the uh, of the healer's kit uh, well i can if liam's behind me i can when it comes to me i can lay hands i feel like i feel like all of you can do a little bit more than kendra right now <laughs> yeah don't don't waste your healer's kit just yet <laughs> you've said that multiple times and i still have 10 uses <sighs> i'm still standing i still can like swing a sword you can still Don't run away. Them yet. Uh, I'm just okay. going to hide my Thora. All right. Fine. <laughs> Save them. We, we don't know what's in the rest of this cave. It only <laughs> costs five gold for this thing. I'm in danger. <laughs> You're going to be in danger if you don't accept these You're things. squishy. Anyway. <laughs> Fine. Then we're going to we're gonna firebolt again. Because you guys don't want heels. <laughs> like you're all made of glass. Right? 
I mean, I'm the very last one to go, so anyone could heal me at any time. Okay, that's that's a nine. Uh, nine hits. We learned something. Does anything <laughs> in this dungeon have AC? I don't know. <laughs> well, you have uh, to try to get an AC lower than ten. That's uh, nine fire damage. All right. So, how do you want to do it? Just go ahead and describe how you do it. <laughs> uh, fed up with 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 Liam's bullshit. Uh, <laughs> Grass Sir Talisman and. <laughs> <laughs> she grasps her talisman and making it making a sigil flame in the air flicks it as a bolt of a bolt of white hot flame goes forward and incinerates the zombie well done all liam right and his uh, uh, liam in his excitement about you know finishing this runs up the kendra and bleeds all over kendra's shoes <laughs> Uh, while while picking up Kendra in excitement. Let go of me! Let go of me! Yes, good job. Yes, everything is fine. Please let go of me. Liam Liam swings uh, Kendra around and puts her da- puts her down. Not sure. Now the time to be celebrating. <laughs> it's not All like right. Liam's the third person too. No, that okay. Gets up from uh from that, trying to get some of Liam's blood off. My kingdom for a prestidigitation cantrip. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what do you guys want to do at this point? Um, I think you want your dagger back, Liam. I don't know if that was... Yes, that dagger's very important to me. I'm going to definitely want that back. Mm. Well, he's certainly dead, but he wasn't wasn't alive to begin with. Did you still want to question Can him? Can I... Or Roman? Well, I assume zombies can't really talk, so I was like, eh, just kill the bastard. <laughs> Uh, but I would I like to like, park either. investigate the body that's on the table if I can. Yeah, go for it. And I would like to look at the rest of the room that is uh, currently covered by Fog of War. Oh, I have a negative one okay. investigation. This is going to be great. Oh, no. Nice. It's still 18. Okay. Okay. So you're looking at the body. There's nothing really on it. It's already been completely picked clean. Um, The most that you find is like pieces of ligament that have and bone that have poked through the pockets and such. Could I tell, like, does it seem this person's just a random traveler or like what species it is or anything? Um, You're looking at the one at the top? Yes. Okay, so uh, it just kind of, it's a human, um, and it, most of the facial features look like they have been um, sucked inward. Uh, Even the bone in a couple places looks broken, Um, and the clothes really, this one's almost half naked, so you really have no idea on the clothes. Someone's Is there any more. signs of this so-called disfiguring plague? Um, make a medicine check. Would you like some help with that? Sure. I mean, I'm proficient in medicine, but There's a lot of traveling doctors. What's the uh, what's the robe on the uh, the body like? On the zombie. zombie? Yep. Yeah. Um, it's, it's tethers. It looks like something that just, it, when you look at it, it looks like it just never really got taken off before. No symbols, nothing on it? 
Nope. Okay. I got a 19 in medicine. Okay, and you wanted to know how it, it, you trying to determine how it died? Well, just to see if, yeah, if it's based on this so-called disfiguring plague, if I can see if that's actually a legit thing or not on this body. Yeah, you do not get it. You don't get a sense that this is a plague. There's, there's no spotting. Um, it's, it looks like the life has been drained from it. Not um, like normal decomposition. Have you ever squeezed a fruit really hard? Kendra, you're moving up. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna see what what there is to see. Okay. In the dark of the night, they will find you. Do you have dark vision? I don't. So how far can you see? Uh, I can I can see as far as a torch will let me see. Which I do have dark vision, and I'm standing still fairly close. I was like, can, I, can I uh, walk up beside uh, Kendra? Just to keep oh, wait, Kendra. I've got that ball. Before any of that. Yeah, Kendra has a little glowing rock. And I've also got a torch that was lit uh, before because I made the, the flame oh, yeah. stance. So I can see the DM is rolling. Oh no. Wait, oh, yeah. Yeah. before you move. <laughs> so uh Kendra as you're moving forward um the torchlight kind of flickering you see something whiz past you and it goes right through the flame and you hear it go king 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 further off down Nope. 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 Is that what you yell coming running back to us? Nope. Nope. That's what she's saying. It's a broken chalk. Just nope. And just fire bolts randomly down the hallway. Are you just wasting all your spells now? That's a cantrip. Okay. So. How does that work? I don't know. I'm not really aiming at anything, so I guess there's advantage if there okay. is something down there. Go ahead and roll a... Um, are you... Which way are you aiming? I Do, am aiming... Draw a line. Make a line for me. Oh, yay. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to aim like like this way. Okay. It's kind of straight in front of me. Into a wall. <laughs> Into a wall, yeah. Okay. I would have loved to have that 19, but uh, it's 14. 14? And yes. what's the... Is that an area of effect, or is it no, just... It's, just gonna... it, it's a bolt. It's Okay. Okay, so you blindly shoot it, and it just goes... You see, you see it almost light and shoot through the darkness, and as it does, briefly... You see, as it shoots past, a figure light up, and it looks kind of whitish, and you see it, like, reflect off some armor, and nope, nope, then nope, 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 it's come nope, darkness nope. again. You don't get that far. <laughs> We're... <laughs> Your thoughts get that far, <laughs> but you do not get that far. All right, everyone, roll for initiative. Oh, all right. Well, Wait, as that, can I just like reach back and heal Liam a little? Uh, I'm gonna Everybody say no on this. I'm gonna okay, say no on this. To, I was trying to do that before the. Were you okay? It, yeah, but... if you were trying to do it, go for it. Yeah, go ahead and roll okay. it. Liam, you got ten points. Well, now that Kendra has fired off in that distance, I do have dark vision, and it's just going. It's there. <laughs> All right, so as you guys are rolling, and actually, go ahead, uh, Flick, what's your initiative? 21. 21. Kendra? 
14. 14. Sora? Not great. 8. 8. Rowan? 18. And Liam? 18. All right. You probably have yeah. higher dexterity. Uh, overall dex? Yeah. I've got a uh, 16 dex. Crap. Okay. Hold on. It totally messed up. 18, 18. Ro uh, Sora, what was yours again? Eight. Eight. I apologize. Kendra? Uh, 14. 14. And Flick, you were 21? Yep. Okay. All right, guys. So after you guys see this and you hear Kendra just saying, nope, 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 you hear like this bolt going forward uh, and you hear her just, nope, 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 slowly starting to back up. And then you hear a voice in the distance and it's loud and it just reverberates against the walls. And it says, bow before the Lord of Lance Rock. Behold my dark terrors. Liam looks at Sora and just says to her, we're in danger. <laughs> <laughs> and so Flick, you are up. What is your sight? Uh. I mean, I have dark vision, so... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 60 45, 40, probably. 45, dark vision, 60 feet. 60 feet. Dark vision, 60 feet. So you can get to... Oh. And here. We'll say. Okay, you're up, Flick. Well, I'm going to step forward and pat Kendra on the shoulder as Flick goes by. <laughs> Maybe let's take it easy on firing randomly into the dark. <laughs> uh, we'll go over here. Uh, that's just a safe 30 feet. And we'll bring up the alchemy gear big hose gun that Flick uses as her primary weapon. She loads some more of the uh, incandescent orange fluid into it and fires off a firebolt vial in the direction of whatever this thing is. Okay. Uh, 15 to hit. Uh, that hits. Four. Three fire damage. Okay, three damage. <coughs> okay, anything else? Uh, that's it for me. Liam, you're up. Uh, Rowan, you're on deck. Okay, so I'm going to run uh, up forward the furthest I can go, which is... Did uh, you ever get your dagger back? I, I'll get to that. <laughs> This is planned. Um, I'm going to move. I'm going to run up here. As I'm running, I'm going to grab my dagger uh, and get, put it in my offhand. And hide behind Kendra. Yep. <laughs> Basically, I'm as, I'm as far up as I can go. And that just happens to be right next to uh, the dead body. The, the deader body. You're going to grab your uh, dagger? Yeah. Okay. That'll, that'll be an action, pulling it out. Yeah. That's all I got. Okay. Um, because I'm, I'm too far away from anything to hit and okay. I can't get close to, uh, Kendra. So just there grabbing my dagger and getting on deck for, uh, a fight. Okay. How far did you move? Uh, 30 feet. Okay. Is that total of your movement? Yeah. That's the, as far as I can go. Okay. All right. Rowan, you're up. Okay. I'm going to move forward by 30 feet. I always forget if it includes... Is it include the square I'm in? Yes. Yeah, just do it from your person. And yeah. So, uh, well, no, five, ten... Yeah, I would just do the line thing. That's probably the best. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. All right, so I'm going to get to there. 
and I am going to use Sacred Flame, which is a dexterity saving throw okay. of 13. Hey, they got eight. Failed. Okay. So it's going to be 1d8 radiant damage. <laughs> that would be three radiant damage. Okay. So that skeleton gets hit with this radiant light and it just shrugs it off. And at that time, it's actually going to move backwards. So, which is, there we go. Oh, I know. Sorry. I was like, why won't it let me choose things? Okay. And then it's going to How do you do the uh where you do the straight the line measure it? Uh on the left side of the top left, it's the tool that looks like a circle with a ruler in the middle. Ah, perfect. Great. It's going to make a Shot towards Rowan. So he Is this up. like a full wall here? Or uh, no, what you see is it's like a, almost like a bench table, but it's made of slabs of rock. Would it provide cover? Uh, if you, yeah, if you went up to it and crouched down, because it only comes up to like uh, maybe like waist high. Okay, so that was five. Misses. All right, so the arrow right past you. Way, way off course. And Kendra, you it are didn't up. Hit any of us, did it? Huh? It didn't hit any of us, did it? No. No. Okay. There's no one else behind. And in that line, I think it would even have a chance at that point. Yeah. Why do you think I keep moving apart from the group? <laughs> um, not much I can do since so I can't. I trust that people can heal me. <laughs> Run the glowing stone. See if you can spot the thing. <laughs> So many groups have been broken up by that trust. <laughs> if not, I can just heal myself. <laughs> I can heal, but I only get two first level slots at this stage. And I've already used one. So I can see... Yeah, I can only see up to, to this distance. That's unfortunate. I mean, there's a torch over there. Are those torches lit? Yep. Oh, then I can see. Perfect. Then why did I need dark vision? <laughs> <laughs> so if, if this area is lit, can we see what's attacking us? How far out does torches go? Torches go up to, to 20 feet, so these torches... Then, yes, yes, there. yes. And, yeah, they overlap. Sora all the way to the back, I tell you. Oh. <sighs> okay, that's... It's better. <laughs> okay. Um, then I guess... Gonna... Any of them up. 
oath? Looks like they just have melee weapons. Eat a can. I'm gonna hit this one. This one I'm gonna hit with a with a firebolt. Go for it. Hmm. Thirteen. Uh thirteen. Yes, 13 hits. Sorry, I was cool. trying to remember if a tie goes to the... If it meets, it beats. That's yeah. The line line. Yep. Did one fire damage. Well done. <laughs> All right. It's a briefly touching a hot stove. <laughs> and that's all I can do. All right. You might want to try shutting off and turning back on your camera, Liam. See if that yeah. Works. <laughs> Tried it before, but it didn't. But I'll try it again. Okay. Um, Kendra. For legal purposes, that is not my name. Uh, if you're wishing to attack me. <laughs> Weird. My camera is working all week for work. I don't know why it's not working on Discord right now. Is it chosen in your settings for video maybe? It is. It's the only camera I have. Uh, need a 13 to hit me. All right, missed. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. <laughs> All right, so next. You should just be like, oh, you need a 27. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this one. I just love seeing Katie tail out of the corner of everyone's cameras. <laughs> Talking about this one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's always, it's always just a tail part, just right in, right in the corner. <laughs> under the desk, I can't do anything. All right, Sora. So these two moved forward closer. They are just charging at you guys. Sora, you're up. I hope they like green goo. All right. So I'm moving up 30 feet to about here. We're right in front of Liam. And I'm going to Sacred Flame this dude. Which one was it? Sacred, uh, this guy, Sacred Flame. Ah, go for it. Uh, 12 decks. Yeah. Uh, 15. Shoot wide again. <laughs> Anything else? That's it. All right. So it's the skeleton star. Okay. And Flick, you're up. Liam, you're on deck. Okay. Oh. use this would you say a line like that would touch maybe all three of them mm. if it's if it's a line five feet wide yes hmm. i don't think i want to use my other high grade spell just yet so i'll move up here crouch 
kind of behind this thing for wherever that archer is. Mm -hmm. And we're going to load up a poison flask to splash these two with acid. They have a dex 13 check. <coughs> and this is a cantrip. I can throw as much acid on things as I want. <laughs> okay. They both failed. Okay. Both take four, uh, four acid damage. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Uh, anything I can see up above me, north? Yeah, how far is your... Like you're 60? Like east. Uh, 60 feet dark vision, but there's torches. Oh my. We, um... You're muted. muted. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Uh, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to move up next to my good buddy Rowan and get ready for a scrap. Got my, <laughs> got my short sword in my right hand, my dagger in my off hand, ready to go. All right. <laughs> Can I, can I see what's in the back? Um, I mean, there's light back here. How far can you see? Uh, typically, I mean, I've got 60 dark vision. Yeah, I mean, you'd be able to see it. So okay, what you guys know. see, I mean, what you guys see back here, uh, the ones I could see that far, which is probably all of you at this point. Um, you see the archer over here, and then you see a... Uh, throne made of bone uh over here and um it's got like spines coming out along the sides almost as like to kind of hold them in and then you see a man sitting there and uh he's got like he's completely bald this wild mangy beard uh he's got a robe on um that you can clearly see some like uh, blood stains around the edges of uh, the arms and such. And he sits there with a wide eyed, wild look, just looking at you guys. So before I end my turn, I'm going to turn over to Rowan and sit, just say, just like old times, I want to sit in that chair and I end my turn. <laughs> <laughs> what did you two do? <sighs> All right. Well, with that, Rowan, you're up. I give a little bit of a chuckle at Leo. And then I am oh. going to move up mm -hmm. and take my war hammer and swing at this skeleton. Go for it. Ugh. Seven. This is mm. so Rowan comes up and she's like coming up with an upward swing and uh, the skeleton just happens to lean as she's swinging and it just completely breezes by. All right. And actually that brings us to that skeleton. Or did you have anything else you wanted to do? Mm. No. Okay. I will wait. All right, so the skeleton um, is going to come at Rowan since he's facing her, and he's going to make an attack. And that is five. Oh, no, nine. Sorry. Nine to hit. Still misses. Wonderful. So you swing up. He kind of leans to the side. He swings down. You're kind of like, ah. And you and guys are, good. yeah, you guys are, are dance dueling. If you, roll, uh, if you roll anything under a 10, it's not going to hit a player character. <laughs> Kendra, you're up. Okay. Well, 
Uh, I'm currently not in a favorable position. You're not so, in melee combat. You're in a great position. I'm in a fantastic position to just chuck a firebolt at that son of a bitch back there. Go for Maybe it. Maybe don't anger things that aren't currently attacking us? Yes. He seems important. <laughs> Maybe we save him for last. But Nat 20 would like to disagree. <laughs> Fear <laughs> leads to anger and anger leads to hate. <laughs> That hits. Okay. Uh, Maybe Firebolt. Some suffering. <laughs> Firebolt does a d10 of fire damage. So with a crit, 10 fire damage. All right. Yay. <laughs> and then we proceed to get the fuck out of there. I just imagine her actually saying this. She's like, let me get the fuck out of you. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that brings us. I like how the whole time it's been me and Flick just constantly moving forward. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm backing up. <laughs> and I'm like standing on my ground. I was like, I could like go away, but like, you know what? Just I'm a weird try. front line combo, you know, half and half caster, half fighter thing. Yeah. I got no reason not to advance. <laughs> All right. I'm helping. I probably have, you know, second best AC in the party, maybe. Mine's 17. I got 15. I have 18. Ooh. Oh, so I think I'm third. And Liam is muted. Uh, 14 AC. How do you only have 14 AC as a rogue? In my other campaign, I have 13 AC and I'm a barbarian. All right. <laughs> Our ACs are so low. How do you have 13 AC as a barbarian? It's like you can be naked and have more AC than that most of the time. And I, I don't. I, I don't know. I mean, Our DM rolls like almost net 20 every freaking time. Yeah, it was a lot. All right. Barbarian, you've got 14 decks, 14 con. That's default 14 AC. So at this point, <laughs> um, the uh, wild beard guy sitting in the throne, he gets up and he makes his way uh, towards the upper end of the cavern. And he turns around and he is going to... You see, now he's running away. Uh, yeah, so he misses. He totally misses. Um, basically, Rowan, what you see is you see a... You're mostly focused on the uh, skeleton, but you all of a sudden just see this gray, sickly, greenish-gray uh, light just shoot right past you and dissipates as it goes past you. And... That's going to bring us to this gentleman. <laughs> All right. Come at me, bro. <laughs> so. Oh my gosh, Flick. Yeah, that one's going towards Flick. And he's going to make a. <laughs> oh my God going to be one of those nights again. <laughs> uh, he rolls a nine. Yeah. <laughs> so he swings and you're still crouched and he's just completely befuddled. And now it's this one's crouching. turn. I don't understand this concept. <laughs> it's not a crouching tiger. <laughs> and he's most definitely not a dragon. So this one's coming after you, Liam. We have both, though. We do. We do. <laughs> All right. And this oh, that one's should be your duo name between you two. Gonna you go take a swing at you. Oh, well, that's getting a tiger hidden dragon. Woo! <laughs> hey. All right, Liam. That is fifteen to hit. Fifteen hits. Okay. Uh, 
All right, that is four damage. I think Liam's the whipping boy tonight. I know. So he comes running up and just swings at you and is able to kind of clip you in the shoulder a bit. Okay. That brings us to Sora. All right, so I am not doing that. I'm moving myself to this dude, and I'm going to take a swipe with my longsword. Okay. Can't do math. Uh, 19. Uh, yeah, 19 hits. 19 hits. Roll for damage. Did you roll for damage? Yeah, it's nine. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. <laughs> yeah, we didn't hear you. Oh, sorry. No, no, you're totally fine. <laughs> I thought you were adding up. I was like, man, how many dice is she having to add up? This is going to be bad. <laughs> this whole bag of dice. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, you definitely hit him. And he gets a little rattled. No pun intended. I should break out my 40k Tau army dice stack. <laughs> Those are so tiny! Yes, and they're all D6s. Wow. All right. And that brings us to... All right. So... That's going to be this skeleton... And he is going to make a ranged attack on Rowan. Oh my gosh, I've got to get new dice. <laughs> uh, nine, oh. nine to hit. <laughs> nine is the magic nine number. Good night. All right, so it just goes right past you and just lands straight into the dirt. Uh, Flick, you're up. Liam on deck. All right. I'm going to... Oh, wrong tool. I'm going to scoot sideways to remain in cover behind the wall thing. Okay. And have both of these guys in melee range just to control a little bit more of the field. But I don't have a whole lot of great melee options, so we're going to take a swipe at this guy with my dagger. Go for it. Uh, 17 to hit. Uh, definitely hits. Okay, and that is three damage. All right, three damage. Okay. Liam, you're can up. Can I use Oh, that? yeah, go for it. Okay. Since I'm not doing anything else, can I use my hand axe as an offhand weapon attack? For two weapon fighting? Are you... Proficient to weapon fighting? Uh, it's it's not a proficiency. It's just something you can do. You just don't get bonuses or nothing to it. For artificer? Well, it, it's everyone has two two weapon fighting, but the fighter can specialize in two weapon fighting. It's a it, weird. It's a weird thing. Okay, go for it then. <laughs> it's just I don't get like any. Uh, I don't really get any bonuses. It's just it. a straight hit. Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Uh, pff, nat one. <laughs> That was your hand axe? Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> Flick... It wouldn't have done much anyway. It was just a throwaway attack. Flick, like, goes to the left with the dagger, and then uh, he makes a swing kind of to the left with for the other one, and but the other one's in midway. So when he swings, it, it just completely misses up. All right. Rowan, you're up. 
I was joining with my Warhammer. No, I'm sorry, oh, Liam. Oh, Liam, oh, I'm, oh, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, oh. Uh, don't forget the road. I know. <laughs> Am I am I that sneaky that that I just? Well, know, you're just... literally. We can't see you. <laughs> you're, yeah, you're literally in the back. <laughs> I'm, I'm in front of a skeleton. I'm like really in to go. <laughs> so okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll for an attack on that skeleton that like clipped me before. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna roll my short sword. That is. A 12 to hit. Uh, does not hit. Damn it. Um, okay. Uh, can I use a bonus action to swing with my, uh, my dagger? I think so. <laughs> yes, that also falls under yeah. uh, two weapon fighting. And that is a 22. That definitely hits. Okay. Just barely misses. And that's gonna be no that's no like modifier, right? No. Straight hit. Okay, that's a, that's a one. Okay. Because uh with the uh, modifier it would have been a four, but so you go to swing with your sword, but Sora's like right next to you and so it it kinda you didn't want to hit her, so you ended up missing entirely, but you're able to come underneath with your dagger and uh, just kind of barely uh, glance off of it. You shaved a bone. <laughs> Rowan, you're up. Take that. That's the. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm swinging at the skeleton in front of me with my warhammer. Go for it. It'll be 15 to hit. 15 hits. All right. Be four bludgeoning damage. Okay. And I will go ahead and use a second war priest to do a second attack. Okay. Bang, bang, Maxwell, silver hammer came down. Fall on his head. Do -do -do -do. Be a dirty 20 to hit. <laughs> it definitely hits. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> very nice, very nice. And ah, three bludgeoning damage. All right. This guy's starting to look pretty hurt. And I'm not going to move. <laughs> I'm going to stay right there. Rowan makes two hits and just stands there like, come at me. Yep. All right. And that actually brings us to this guy. I did this out of order before, so apologies, but he's going now. Okay. So the archer is going to make a arrow attack at... Flick, did you crouch back down? Yes. Okay. So it's going to make an arrow attack at what it can see, which would be Rowan. I mean, I'd, it probably could see, like, ears. <laughs> Goes for one ear. <laughs> no, it's going to go for uh, Rowan. And that was a 14. Misses. All right. So this guy just keeps trying to hit you, and... There's just something about you, your glowing eyes or something, but it just cannot focus. And all these arrows, like you're starting to get this like circle of arrows in the ground standing up behind you. How many arrows does he have? <laughs> That's not for you to know. All right. <laughs> it seems like we're going to find out. <laughs> Kendra, you're up. Um... <laughs> so, I've realized my mistakes before. Um, You're going to shoot something it. you can see this time. No, oh, I can see them all. He's standing next to a torch, I can see him, but... Uh, 
This is this is an accurate placement of where all the skeletons are, correct? Yes. Okay. Got a chaos bolt. <laughs> yeah, chaos bolt. It doesn't matter which one. I'm perfectly honest with you. I'd say start to the left or start to the right. Sure. Start start with the left. Where are you even at? Oh, you're way back there. Okay. Yeah. I got I got long range. So that's a sixteen to hit. Hits. Okay. Now for the fun part. Mm-hmm. Cross your fingers. Cross your fingers. Probably not gonna happen, but Okay. Uh mm, not not too too good. That was a one. Yes! It's another one! <laughs> So you do oh, a one damage. means you hit uh, double, don't you? Yes, uh, I added the d6, so that's a total of eight acid damage. But I get to I get to bounce it off to another skeleton. Yep. <laughs> so you're doing oh, okay. uh, this one and which else? Um. So bounce from him to this one. Yep. Okay. Okay. Cool. And that's eight points of damage. Yeah, it was eight points of acid damage if that matters. That is... Make a new attack. That's our favorite damage, right? damage type. Yeah. I love Chaos Bolt. That's a 23. And so far we got... We got lightning damage and... Acid damage. Okay, the chain stops, unfortunately. But we're going to do... Acid again. And math. It's 11 acid damage. On the first one? On the second one. So, on the second one. Okay. Eight on the first one, 11 on the second one. Okay. Yeah. So the they both take it pretty hard. The acid is eating away at so much of their bone. Like almost, they're, they're looking really thin and gaunt now. A lot of the marrow is gone. Um, this one absolutely just kind of crumbles to the ground. The other one is looking really, really not good. Between the acid and the warhammer, there probably wasn't much bone mm -hmm. left. Anyway. Anything else? Um, I, I feel emboldened. Uh, yeah, I can I can move up up the up to there. Being very sure to 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 pass through my ally's space and not near this man. Don't want him to hit me. Not near the one that's covered in acid. No, I don't. I don't want this one. I don't want this one to hit me. So I had to make sure to go through. <laughs> okay. Someone else's space. So what's your movement? Thirty. Thirty. That was uh, thirty. So that's that's I'm done. <clears throat> okay. Because it it'll if you're trying party. to move through your ally it i would knock off about five but you didn't move the full 30 did you i did move through the full 30 but i thought it didn't uh incur okay. any, for, any form of uh movement yeah, allies don't usually really interrupt movement at all oh okay if you're trying to go through an enemy however that's a whole rule book in its own all right next because it's like the five foot range is like control area you know Not what bonus physical. action dash because i don't care about my own my own safety <laughs> contrary to prior turns yeah. yes I contrary to prior... <laughs> over here. It has a change of heart it's like I, I feel like a god now i think i think that was 30. i mean sorcerer so demigod technically yes <laughs> But now I'm a distraction for someone to go up and bop that skeleton. All right. You mean someone who is otherwise engaged with other skeletons? <laughs> All right. Uh, Kendra, make a wisdom saving throw for me. 
This is what happens when you run ahead. <laughs> that's what that's what you think. Um, that's a twelve. You got close to the throne. Where is my number here? Okay. You are fine. Oh, good. Had me scared. <laughs> All right. Is he running? And that brings us to... Yes, he ran because Kendra shot him. That nerd. All right. This guy is going to make a hit, a swing at Flick. Fine. No, it's a one. <laughs> I'm getting rid of all of my dice and purchasing all new ones. <laughs> oh, after my one, we're just kind of uh, at each other. This skeleton is so covered in acid and really has no idea what's happening. It goes up to swing, and at this point, I'm literally its arm with the weight of the sword just comes flying off, and it ends up the sword actually wounds up flying and impaling in the back of its own head. It's dead. It only had one point anyways. <laughs> and it falls backwards and dies. The it's epic fail. Like the, epic. <sighs> the epic fail. <laughs> yeah. Alright, that brings us to... This necromancer clearly has no love of his craft if he makes such shoddy constructions. Sora, you're up. I am going to hit this guy again with my long sword. Go for it. <clears throat> it's a 12 to hit. Uh, that hits. Oh, no, wait, 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 I'm sorry. That misses. That misses. Sorry. Oh. Yeah. You're like the only one that keeps missing. <laughs> I know. I'm playing well right now. Yeah. Just, um, just... Can I bonus action two hands? What's that? Just two weapon attack as my bonus action. Oh yeah, go for it. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Wait, I'm gonna try again. Uh, do you have two weapons? Or two handed weapon? Right? Mm. Oh no, wait. Two, two weapon attack is two different weapons. Two yeah. weapon fighting. Well, I do have no. Mm hmm. I do have no. I do have no. So I'm just going to rah right here. That's it. You guys are going to realize I don't know a lot of the rules for some of these classes. So oh, no, I good. apologize. <laughs> no, I forgot that I don't have any other weapons. Like... The, the rest of us are using little weapons. <laughs> yeah. And I don't have any weapons other than my sword equipped right now. So. The, the, using the sword in two hands lets you do more damage is what it is. All right, so this guy is going to take a swing at Sora, and that is a night. Uh, sorry, 22 to hit. That hits. Okay. Uh, four damage. You guys have been just trading swings back and forth, and at one point, this one actually gets one in. And Flick, you're up. Liam on deck. All right. Well, now that I'm not surrounded by skeletons, I'm Flick is going to pivot in spot and lean against the table thing and full on Dennis the Menace with her spell slingshot to launch a firebolt at the archer up here. Okay. Let's see. If I can roll that in the dice tray so I can see it. Uh, that is an 11. 11 does not hit. So just a little glowing orange vial sails off past it, behind it, off into the distance. All right, Leon, or it, anything else? I found breaking glass. <laughs> it doesn't even phase it. Uh, anything else? No, nah, I'm good. 
Liam, you're up. Okay, so um, first off, I'm just going to say right now, uh, after my turn, I'm going to get out of the uh, the video chat for a sec. Okay. I'm going to test my camera. Okay. It work. So I'll be right back. But that said, I'm going to take a swipe at the skeleton in front of me with my short sword. Okay, go for it. I want this to hit this time, damn it. <laughs> so you've got a sneak attack. I don't think that hits. That's an 11. Does not hit. I think they've got like a 13 or 14. <laughs> okay. Um, then with my offhand weapon, I'm going to swing again. Okay. And that's... That's a 12. <laughs> We're doing a lot of blade dancing tonight. Yep. So, um... I, uh... I guess with the last of my my turn, I'm just going to run up, leave Sora behind. Uh, run yeah, up, take the attack for opportunity. Yeah. Well, these guys come in action. I do. He, he used bonus action just, to attack a second time. Yeah. You're right, you're right. Oh, yeah, you're right, yeah. I, I'm not going to move. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to end it there. I'll be right back, guys. Uh, yep. All right, that brings us to Rowan. Already, um, I'm sure they have that one handled back there. You know what I'm thinking. <laughs> um, what was something funny is uh, if you Full get within five feet, they can't really shoot you. It's true, but let's see here. I am gonna rush up. Here. And I'm going to Sacred Flame this skeleton guy that's in front of me. So it's a deck saving throw of 15. Ah, succeeds. All right, so as the flame comes down, the archer just, it, it just kind of dissipates even before it gets to him. And that brings and us. I am there. All right. All right, so the archer is still going to go for Kendra. That is <laughs> uh, 10 to hit. <laughs> Nope. All right. Totally misses. And he is going to use the rest of his action to back up. Which we'll go ahead and do this since you guys are up here. And Kendra, you are up. Yay. Skeleton is running away. It is. Not far enough away. Unfortunately, the other thing that you shot ran away. Not far enough away. We don't know where it went. Because for some reason, Kendra's gotten a lot of... Uh, she's gotten a lot of bravery. Going don't block to... my shot. Fine. Be here. <laughs> <laughs> hey! There he is! Well, okay. he hears your shot isn't completely blocked. Uh, going to just pull out some daggers and, and act and act like Liam. <laughs> Dagger party! Everyone has daggers! Yay! Oh, hey. At a girl! <laughs> That's Math, 22. Definitely hits. Neat. Where'd my D4 go? Oh no, there it is. Nice. Seven damage. Wow. What's your dex? Plus three. Dang. Dang. <laughs> Offhand. Stabby you stab. better dex than the rogue. <laughs> they landed on my keyboard. There is no number. I have to roll again. Would you stay on the table, please? Thank you. 23. Andrew's got the exact same deck side. 
I don't uh, think you get any bonuses on the roll with uh, off weapon. Um, I think you get da- you get a bonus on the roll, not the damage. Yeah. Either way, you rolled high enough. I don't think it's not gonna matter. Yeah. That's a one. <laughs> one damage. One damage. Yeah. So I first rolled max damage, then minimum damage. All right. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Ooh, look at me, I'm Liam. It's not that hard to stab things. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Kendra might have the highest dex of the party. <laughs> We're tied, and Liam just sits there quietly thinking he's going to get uh, Kendra back for that statement. Wait, what? <laughs> Liam, what's your dex? 16. Yeah, I thought you had a 14 for some reason. Nope, nope. That brings us to Sora. Okay, I'm gonna try and slash this dude again. Okay, go for it. It's an 18. Definitely hits. Six points of slashing damage. All right. So this guy's looking really rough now. You finally managed to get one in there, and it's just into its rib cage, and it's it's looking pretty hard. And that actually brings us to its turn. That is 19 to hit on Sora. Just hit. Okay. So as it's still got your weapon lodged in its rib cage, it's just going to swing across with its uh, sword. <laughs> two, two points of damage. <laughs> and it's just. That's all you got. <laughs> Two points of damage would cripple me. <laughs> it's looking if it as you say this to it, its jaw just opens to cry out, but it just falls off. And that brings us to Flick. Liam, you're on deck. <coughs> Alrighty. Well, I don't want to hang back too long. So we're gonna come around here. I don't remember how to do the ruler thing. <laughs> we could shift or right clicking while you're. So, yeah, it's right clicking while you're. Okay, yeah, there we are. I want to try this. Uh, I'm going feline agility and going all up there. <laughs> <laughs> Fun with rulers! <laughs> Very important knowledge. So, feeling agility, I can basically move double my movement, but I can't use it again until I move nothing on a turn. Okay. Whenever I can post that. Uh, yep. I can double my speed until the end of the turn. Once I use it, I can't use it again until I move zero feet on a turn. Okay. So, okay. moving up close, but not into melee range, and I'm going to. You know, peg the thing with another firebolt. Go for it. Thirteen. Hits. All right. Ten. For three. Three damage. Three fire, yep. Got it. Anything else? Uh, no, that's it for me. All right. Liam, you are up. In pursuit. Not letting the squishy sorceress run up there and run <laughs> off into the side cave on their own. I can handle myself. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to roll for an attack with my short sword on this damn skeleton. <laughs> it's now my nemesis. And... I thought the last one was your nemesis. 22. Oh, Definitely hits. Fantastic. Uh, and that's going to be with sneak attack. Since I've got a sword right next to me. Uh-huh. So that's 
Okay, that's six damage. We sneak attack. That is nine damage. All right. That was your short sword? Yeah. All right. So it's currently involved with Sora. Its jaw has fallen off. Her hammer is still up in its rib cage. It has just swung at her. And here comes this other blade just swinging across, and you just decapitate it. And it. It, the rib cage is just hanging onto Sora's warhammer still. Is it dead? <laughs> M- well, more dead than before. Yes. It. Okay. You. You have slayed the skeleton. <laughs> it's dead. It makes everything worth it. With my, with my bonus action. Yes. Since I have cunning action, I'm going to dash. That gives me 60 feet of movement, right? Yep. Okay, I'm going to dash up to the throne, which is exactly 60 feet away. Go for it. I just realized that I got caught up in the excitement. I got caught up in the excitement of Chaos Bolt, and I accidentally referred back to my previous character that was a rogue. Kendra should not have been able to dash as... uh, as We (laughs) were... Whoops. (laughs) Do you still have, like, that plus three dexterity, though? Yeah. That's crazy. Okay, that's uh, that's all I got. I'm not close enough to the throne to sit on it, but I'm close enough to be up to it. So Yeah, so you, you swung at it, decapitated it, and you're done with it at this point. You just bolted forward, going straight for what you think is the throne, because why not? Wait, wait why would you say what we think is the throne? I don't like that phrasing. <laughs> no. All right. Uh, anything? No, you're done. Rowan's up. From where I'm standing, with the angle I'm at, would I be able, with my dark vision, see deeper into this? Or Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me. Oh, yeah. Dark vision's great. Oh, I wish I had it. Doesn't go much farther than <laughs> Goggles of Night will be really nice eventually. <laughs> Click. Alrighty. Um... <laughs> I will come up to here and with my Warhammer take a swing at this skeleton that's in my way, because I'm assuming I can't use my dash action to go around him. Uh, it looks like he's got that corridor pretty locked down. Yeah, so <laughs> let's take care of that. Or not. Do you have a Warhammer or a pike? I'm a Warhammer. A Warhammer, okay. Where'd you get the pike? <laughs> I thought you had a pike for some reason. I thought you had a... a... Yeah. a spear. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> But I've been using my Warhammer the whole time. I have a Warhammer. I don't know, guys. Um, That's another reason why my AC is so high, is I have my shield. Um, That is a nine to hit. Misses. Mm. I'm very upset by that because I missed. So I'm going to use my my third and last war priest to attack again. Because the war priest does not require me to actually hit. And now that becomes an 11. Uh, it still misses. Side of it. <laughs> so here comes this cleric that looks almost like she's raging and she's just swinging like crazy and screaming and yeah he's in my way (laughs) she's chipping off the wall next to him all right and that brings us to that should have gone centaur and charged him down (laughs) all right and he's going to go for the the wildly swinging Awesome, right in front of her and completely misses. He goes to shoot at you and your wild swing actually knocks the arrow off to the side. So he misses. 
And Kendra, you are up. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, we're gonna... <laughs> because I think it's funny. We're going to, uh, we're going to two-hand, uh, my quarterstaff. I guess we're done with magic for now. <laughs> that hasn't been working out too well. I'll take it. It's on my keyboard, but I'll take it. That's a 19. Definitely hits. Get you a dice tray. I should get a dice tray, but I am poor. <sighs> 10 bucks. All right, that is... Because it's two-handed, that's a... Hmm, this is a strength-based weapon, so this is a D8 minus one. Seven? Seven. <laughs> Guys, don't make me do math. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, budgeting, if that matters. So, yeah, you swing up and just clip his, his jaw comes off and kind of go right into his eye socket area and he's looking really hurt. I feel like I'm better at this than casting magic. <sighs> You did take out quite a few with that chaos bolt. Anything else? Um, nope, that is it. All right. <clears throat> okay, that brings us to uh no. I see a random spot revealed in the distance. Yeah, I know. <laughs> because I assume that guy is still running away. That's that's called I forgot to take off fire war when I was trying to move. <laughs> uh nope, he's dead. He's dead. Sora, you're up. So I will move. There. And I was the only one that was like all the way there. I know. Uh, and I will sacred flame that guy. Okay. So deck save. <coughs> sacred flame can go sixty. So. Oh my gosh! Thank God it's not an attack, and you could have got a one because I would be very afraid right now. Not there. No, I rolled a one. <sighs> I like your dice. You know you're not supposed yeah. to use a big stick, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Someone cursed these. All right. Well, this will be the last of them, so go ahead and tell me tell me what happens. So I hate that I'm really far away. <laughs> So I'm just gonna like, just kind of swing my arms around and just sacred flame like this, and just shoot the radiant damage out of my palm. Awesome. All right, and he absolutely just crumbles. <laughs> Thank you. Get him out of my way. I have the lands. <laughs> Liam, don't touch that throne. You don't know what's on it. Or in it. Liam, no. Liam, yes. <laughs> Anything else, Sora? No. I mean, I'd like to move up with the group, but I'm still kind of back here, so that's fine. I'm All right. Ah. You can always dash on your next turn or something. I don't have a dash. I don't Everyone can dash. Flick, you're up. Liam on deck. Oh, oh. Okay. we're gonna I'm go. Speed. You can't move, do anything else. Oh uh, well. Next time. Here and see what's down this way. If I can spot the guy running away. You turn the corner in death. That was only twenty. All right. I thought you couldn't move for your next turn. No, it's it, I can't do that ability again until I don't. Move. I'd say that's about as far as you can see. 
right. There we go. I still got 10 feet of movement. I move up to here. Does that give me any more range? Um, I'm, let me see. Yeah, I, you can can I will say. He does have dark vision. Yeah, it's more because there's things in the way. Yes, mm -hmm. you can definitely see that. And you can see this. Well, I may as well dash just to see if I can get sight on this guy. I'll dash 15 to here. He just had to make this place complicated. <laughs> Finish off 15 to here. Okay. I just love all the different arrows that are going. In. I know. <laughs> Who's I gotta who's figure arrowing? out what I gotta do. I'm figuring out what I gotta do. And I wish they had more of like a, instead of just like a polygonal, like you could actually just kind of a circular shade thing you could open up. I mean, there's, there's always the pay money and get the special fancy feature. True. True. There is that. Um, all right. I got to upgrade Flick's icon, uh, Flick's token too. So Flick, at this point, you can see just the edge uh this is a it, it's a kind of a cavernous area and you see in front of you a pedestal um and it's got rows of severed arms that are arranged kind of like in a circle and they're clutching one another uh reaching up and up and the uppermost uh, hand uh, is a glowing crystal spear and above it is a dark sigil with an eye-like uh, slit that floats above the spear. Tacky. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing else I can do at this point, so I'm, I'm here. All right. I'm just glad that hallway wasn't full of death traps. Uh, <laughs> Liam, you're up. What are you doing? <laughs> Can I roll an investigation check on the throne? Yeah, yeah, that'll be your action. Yep. Go for it. Okay. That's a 10. Okay. So you see basically kind of what you saw before. You saw it's uh, just a throne made of bones um, where the hands, where some of them are sitting in it, where their hands are, are two skulls. Um, you can see where some of the bone looks like it's actually been worn down, uh, possibly from someone sitting in it. Um, the two spines along the back kind of come right where the shoulders are. Uh, there is a giant skull in the back. You almost think it looks like a troll, but it's got uh, two curved horns coming out the back. Um, there is blood splatters kind of here and there. Other than that, you really don't see anything else. Okay. I'm going to make an executive decision with my uh, bonus action to... Uh... dash uh 60 feet right yes okay 
Yeah, it's movement plus movement. <laughs> okay. So, seems like somebody, I'm not sure who that is, but you're getting the idea of what I'm going to do. <laughs> Where I'm going to go. So I'm going to go there, yeah. Got you, don't worry. Soup. The throne is, I've lost all interest in the throne. It's nothing. So you just barrel past poor Kendra and Rowan. And... Very fast, very speedy. Well, I mean, Kendra did call me out with my daggers, so uh, i got to show her up now. And that's my turn. All right. That brings us to Rowan. I am using my dash action. Mm hmm and moving to basically where Flick is. So like right there. And that's it. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I know I was trying to do that where I find like the short like the furthest I can get. But a little there, bit. It, it helps a little bit. Kendra. I don't want to block you. You're anymore. up. This is like, <laughs> you guys are just like Naruto running through these halls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, all things prepared. I could move 90 in one turn. <laughs> I want to. I wanted to make a small correction. I'm. I'm Sonic running. Oh my! I apologize. <laughs> You're curled up in a ball, rolling through the cavern. Exactly with spikes. <laughs> Picking up coins along the way. Right. Uh, going past Liam, kind of just like sticks her tongue out a little bit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this. All right. Anything else? Is that it? Uh, that's. All right. Bye, Sora. Get <laughs> <laughs> hurt. It's not on me. You literally can't see any of us right now. That's hilarious. You were just there, like we all disappeared into this cavern. I mean, she can't even tell. There's a net tunnel, a network tunnel up there. She just the cave door at the other end. <laughs> For all she knows, we just fell off the inside of a cavern. Yeah, she can. She can make it up here. Yeah, I can make it here. Yeah. Around this area. Yeah. Okay, Kendra. Make a in wisdom saving throw. I would really Are we letting the dragon bar move? <laughs> Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Let me... No, it's not Dragonborn's turn. It's going to sit. Okay. <laughs> Wait. I hear you screaming. Sorry. Are you going to sit down and draw the throne in your notebook? So, yeah. 14. Whoops. All right. I want to see your interpretation of his throne. <laughs> Thrones, more thrones go. Also, real quick, how come he keeps on targeting me? Because she's the one keeps coming the closest. <laughs> What's your point? You can't handle a spitfire? <laughs> All right. Bear. Well, she's certainly been spitting fire. We'll drop the mixtape. Um, okay. So, you're fine. Nothing happens. It's terrifying. <laughs> but it's coming. I kind of want, want to fail now just to know what it is. Sora, Dragonborn, you are up. Please hold, I'm drawing the throne. <laughs> I would like to catch up with everyone. <laughs> By the way, your hoodie is amazing. 
Thank you. It's a jester hoodie. I know. I love My girlfriend got it for me for Christmas. So I am running over here. <laughs> That's it. Well, <laughs> like grumbling under my breath. Like, These people just, just leaving me in the back. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of armor are you in? Are you in plate or chainmail? Uh, no. no one should have plate at level one. Although you guys just hear this thundering coming down the hallway, like echoing down the hallway, and <laughs> just getting louder. <laughs> I mean, that's at level two. two, seven feet tall. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, at level two, as an artificer, according to Dungeons and Dragons Beyond, there are certain sets of plate mail I could just make over a log rest and hand the dragon for. You think uh, there's no way I'm being silent? I'm. I'm have disadvantage on stealth. So. Yeah, you guys. You guys are being really noisy. Something ran away and the cat chased it. What were you expecting to happen? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, Flick, you are up. Uh, Ooh, the cat and mouse. I'm going to chill here for this turn and uh, let everybody else catch up and get the position. <laughs> <laughs> I can no longer see what I was chasing, so I will stay here for the moment. Okay, then Liam. Okay. I'm gonna. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna go directly in front of Kendra mm-hmm. because I can. That's 30 feet. I'm not gonna dash. <laughs> I've got 60 feet uh, dark vision. Um, so can I see in front of me? Let's do this. Maybe a little bit uh, here. Okay. Good to know. Um, I guess with uh, the last of my turn, I'm going to just uh, give Kendra a noogie. <laughs> roll evasion. You should totally roll evasion. No, you can't. We're an in initiative. Yeah. All right, Rowan, you're up. Um, I think Kendra's enough... older than Liam. Yeah. <laughs> is there enough room, technically, for me to like go around, flick? Yeah, party members don't impede movement. Okay, that's right. I remember. Flick is not We're five good. feet fat, so. Or ghosts <laughs> just move through us. <laughs> All right, charge. Um. Yeah, I'm at least moving to here. What can I see? <laughs> all right. You're completely surrounded by skeleton archers. They oh, all get. Again. <laughs> they all roll lines to attack. a weird looking wall. Wait. Is this a Wizard of Oz thing? <laughs> Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's all you can see. So you... Uh, yeah, so I should explain that. Okay, so um, as you come into the room, you see the pedestal as well uh, with the curving arms, making a cone, grasping um, and holding the uh, orb, the the glowing crystal sphere. Um, and then you see the uh, dark eye above it, the sigil. And then at the far end of the room, um, you see a like a blue tapestry uh, going from ceiling to floor. And this cavern is about 40 feet wide, 60 feet long, 
and I'm sorry, not dark blue. There's dark purple tapestries hanging along the far wall. It really is a man behind the curtain. Um, I guess I'm going to dash as my action so that I can get to here. Okay. Is that your uh, that your turn? That will be my turn. All right. Kendra. Seems yeah, like an odd spot. Gonna... Is that like a wooden wall or? Yeah. Is this oh. like a door or a? Uh, it's a wooden wall. When you left me behind, I had time to draw the throne, and it's not great, but there it is. Ooh, nice! The bone I'm, not, I'm not talented by any means. But there you go. I <laughs> feel like disrespecting these curtains. <laughs> I also want to see if the Wizard of Oz thing is actually going to happen. Firebolt! Firebolt! Since you've cast firebolts at everything else that wasn't a rock wall, and even yes. some rock walls. I mean, we want, we want to talk to him. It's flammable, so fire. It's not complicated. Go for it. That is a... Oh, I'm so You really roll like an attack roll on a curtain? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Apparently I need to. That is an 11. Hits. Okay, good. I can hit a curtain. <laughs> hey, if you did like a nat one, it could have you could have like veered off so the in the face. You hit the curtain and um I'm not gonna make you roll damage. You hit the curtain and it just it's hits the middle of it and you see like kind of burning embers kind of go and then the entire thing just lights up in flames. And it's burning. Me? I hope he has clothes on. <laughs> anything else? Oh, can I see anything from? Can I see anything from the light of the now burning? I mean, you see everything in the uh, room. And me. Uh, no, nothing. Nothing else. Okay, dokey. A man behind the curtain. Is there a man behind the curtain. Is there a man behind the curtain. <laughs> There's something green and very large here. There's a curtain with a possible man behind it. I've seen the Wizard of Oz. Kendra has seen Wizard of Oz. <laughs> All right. Wizard of Oz, you speak of. <laughs> what I'm land? Studied, is that? studied with Morden Cannon. From the back. Where's Oz? <laughs> It was a story my father told me to make me fall asleep. Kendra. No. <laughs> make a no wisdom saving throw. <laughs> this is why I didn't. Thirteen. <laughs> Bet you wish you were an Oz now. <laughs> That's a nine. I finally failed. <laughs> I'm not giddy. I'm not. Yes, you are. <laughs> All right. So you are charmed. Oh. So what? Well, it's just I failed. Uh, I just remembered. I would like to activate uh, Favored by the Gods to roll 2d4 to add to my, my failed saving throw. Uh, that, that's, that, that's an added 6. So that's 15. I, I passed. So all you get in your mind are two big fingers. That's all you see. <laughs> Perfect. 
You looked so heartbroken. <laughs> <laughs> the moment one thing, guys. Out. I get one thing. <laughs> Kendra was like, oh, wait a minute. Wait. <sighs> I can't use that again uh, until we take a short rest, so. And you also hear grumbling somewhere kind of echoing. Motherfucker. I am out of everything, if that makes you feel better. I'm out of spell slots. I'm out no, of sorcery points. No, no, it doesn't. Keep it to yourself, all right? <laughs> all right. You still have Fireball. So, now, back to the farthest back party member, Sora. <laughs> what are we doing? So... Like to, uh huh. I'm just gonna just gonna run some more. <laughs> right here. <laughs> I'm just gonna leap back as the dragon board just barrels past full speed through the cave. <laughs> blank, 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 blank. <laughs> appears and <laughs> flick you're up okay i'm gonna go up and uh investigate this orb thing not touching it but investigating it can i run an uh, arcana check to see if i can tell what the fuck is up with this thing I just left it alone. I don't want to touch it. Yeah, go for it. It's glowing. It's got skeleton hands. We're dealing with a necromancer who clearly has no love of his craft for the poorly constructed skeletons. Craftsman's shame. <laughs> Let's see if I can... I'm... So, could I roll an arcana check to see if I can tell if there's, like, magic that I might have bit... that might be similar to what I saw in the uh, last session in the other part of the cave? Yeah. That is an 18 arcana. Okay, so... Anything I can glean. You glean um, a dark, dark presence. Um, it is... It, what, what you can sense is there is there's, um, definitely necromancy. Uh, in the surrounding of the uh, the sigil, but you get a sense there's something else beneath that, um, and you see flickerings of um, lightning, and you see uh, like you hear howling wind, crackling rock, and um, trying to remember what the last one is and like waves and actually i'm going to come back here this is what you guys see that's a symbol all right and that's basically it's the black part is what's floating above the crystal orb I have no idea what that is. Does the crystal look fragile? Uh, I mean, it's it's got it's a thick crystal base. Like it doesn't it doesn't look like it's just going to fall apart if you were to touch it. Well, what if it fell about five feet to the floor? <sighs> I don't know. Do you want to try touching it? No, I think I'm going to avoid touching it. <laughs> Especially when it's radiating necromancy. Touching such things seems to be poor judgment. Well, it's the the sigil above it is what's radiating the necromancy. Hmm. Can we insight check you? 
<laughs> what would you even like... look for in a cat's face to insight check? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the DM. The DM. <laughs> He's up in the air, like, I'm like, mm, is it though? Like, I would very much appreciate it if we uh, would not touch the floating thing of. Says the one that the flames fire randomly. I'm not touching anything, am I? It could activate crap. I mean, come on. <laughs> Most things that I've experienced, you have to touch a door, a button. <laughs> Are we Liam, we have a treasure for you to pick up. <laughs> okay, Liam, are we, are while they're we arguing, in... you're up. Okay, so we are still an initiative. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna waltz into the room. Uh huh. Because I'm still not in the room. Um, I'm gonna go right here. It's about thirty feet. I look at the uh, the black part the the uh, emanating necromantic power and I just I toss I flick a uh, a copper piece at it at the symbol yeah at the floating black part with necromancy okay um so you flick the copper at it and uh it briefly pauses in the middle of it like it catches almost like it was in a force field and you see greenish, the metal start to, um, not oxidate, but it starts to turn like green. And rust. then it rusts. Thank you. <laughs> Why can't I remember oxidate, but not rust? And, and then it just uh, continues and falls through and falls to the ground. And it's it's got the greenish rust on it. So let's, decrepitude. So let's not touch that. Just, just saying, and, and I'm just gonna mark myself down one copper piece. Okay. Uh, Anything else? Are you afraid of zombie treasure now? Uh, at this point, nothing really. Uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to check. Rowan. So when Kendra burnt the tapestry, the curtain, we didn't reveal what was behind it. Not yet. I would say it's probably. It's a fire is behind it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's probably. Uh, let's see, Kendra, when was your turn? Okay, so it's slowly been burning up. It's it's probably, it it's probably like at uh, maybe chest height now. I'm bull rushing through it. Now I'm going to take my shield. I'm taking my shield and kind of put it in front of me. And I'm going to just run and go straight through this curtain. Okay. All right. Is that man behind the curtain? I look over at Flick and say, that's my best friend. <laughs> Is that why you keep hiding behind, behind the curtain? All right. You're on its lap. <laughs> <laughs> so you go straight through and you just bowl right into this guy um, and basically end up pinning him against the wall. Uh, can you do a hit with your shield? Uh, could, would that be like a um, arm strike maybe? I'd say improvised weapon attack. There is a special melee attack called a uh, uh, called a shove that you could do to put it, to push him into the wall. What I need to do with shove? Uh, it just moves them. <laughs> this could be considered also a, this could be considered a grapple since you're pushing him against the wall. There's a lot of rules we could do for this. Just do a uh, do me roll a roll a d four roll d six. Because you just scared the crap out of him, and I was like, "Surprise me!" Yeah. <laughs> Meet my handy shield. Is that a heater shield? One. <laughs> All right. So he takes one damage. You're equally surprised to have seen him as well, 
and you don't quite pin him against the wall. You come up and realize you're face to face with this guy and just your shield kind of bounces off of him and he stumbles back. You stumble back. And now you guys are awkwardly looking at each other. Since you charge through the fire with that, is that a heater shield? <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> um, no. I guess that considers uh, my action was doing the uh, the shove effect, I guess. So, yeah. All right. I mean, is he really still trying to combat us at this point? <laughs> Kendra, you're up. <laughs> Fireball. <laughs> so the curtain has parted. It's where she went through. It's parted. And it's just the burning embers are now to the side. So you guys have full view of what's going on in there. Okay, we're going to go right up in there. Mm -hmm. This This person's clearly a caster. So we're going to be a dick. Hit, hit with stick. Hit with stick. Uh, no, we're going to <laughs> take dagger and stab through hand so he cannot do somatic components. That's a rather specific attempt. I know. I'm a magic user. I know about somatic components. Also, this this man has been trying to fuck with me, somehow, <laughs> some way. I don't know what it was, but I felt it. He tele through telekinesis, he gave you the images of middle finger. So, I don't know if you want to do anything special with that roll, but that's a twenty four. So the first one hits. Cool, just stabbing right through the hand, keeping it there so he can't somatic component that bullshit the enemy cannot push that button if he cannot use his hand correct so i mean are you like stabbing it mid-air or are you stabbing it down i'm stabbing it into the desk behind him okay because i have him shoved up against the wall <laughs> i mean if he's got stuff in his hands that might be difficult yeah that's also very true was there something in his hand that that might be important you were able to stab his left hand cool they're just making sure it's in in there and while that's there just offhand try yeah. to show is there something in his other hand that's also very important you stabbed into his left hand and he goes ah and he just looks up at you are you making for the other right hand is there anything in his right hand because if there is i'm gonna go for the wrist uh there's nothing in it at the moment cool that's, uh, that's 23. Okay. Now, where are you stabbing this one into? Is there anything in his hand? No. Not, not right now. Then it's just right in the palm. So in both of his palms, stabbing and stabbing it into the bed frame. Okay. So now he's crucified against the wall. All right. That, uh, that did one damage. Uh, so far in total, I've done three damage, no, four damage. I mean, can you five damage? I can't count five condition. damage because that's a plus three, and I rolled one on both times. Okay. Is there really enough damage to you know pierce the skin and bone to pin him to the things? <laughs> All right, and anything else? I mean, oh, this is an action, action. <laughs> uh, but I'm I'm gonna just glare back at him. That that that's it well i'm holding the well, i'm making sure that the daggers are in there I'm, I'm holding on to them okay i'm fucking with the wizard <laughs> all right uh, is he considered grappled now <laughs> i mean that's kind of what that would have to be <laughs> all right I don't know how He's been shoved uh, and grappled. Also, uh, this is just a question towards the DM. Do you know what semantic components are, right? It's, it's when you wave your hands around to do things. Yes. Yes. All right. So. Like this. 
<laughs> I mean, my question is, is that is, does Kendra have enough strength to nail him to the desk in bed? She might be able to hit his hands, but I can certainly, I can certainly hit his hands, but <laughs> meh, meh. <laughs> Nothing to stop him from. Him, okay, he's still startled by the fact he got face slammed by a shield. <laughs> Nothing stopping him from just eh, and then smacking me. All right, With so you're there, like up in his face, because you're you're going to have to be pretty close to be able to yeah. have both of those, and he is still looking at you, and you feel his fingers from the bed frame curl, and they're able to touch your hand that you're gripping. No, fuck. And that is 19 to hit. Okay, I'm just going to roll damage. That's what I'm to say. <laughs> All right. Do you have any resistance to necrotic? No. All right. So that's just eight damage. Oh, fuck. So you, you don't even realize that you just kind of feel a tap where the longest finger is able to touch. And... Bad touch. Bad touch. <laughs> so... You took the damage, and... You see... Uh, the the bruising that he took suddenly disappear and he just smirks at you and goes <laughs> Sora you're up I don't care what you do just <laughs> hurt him more <laughs> what who's hurting <laughs> Oh no, alright. Um... It's a small room with a lot of angry people in it. I have 2 HP. Yeah. Uh... I'm trying to see like where I can move so that I can at least cast something. Well, this is, this is a wood wall. Yeah, that's a wood wall over on that side. Oh. So the curtain was here? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so I can see. Okay, great. I <laughs> Welcome to the room, Sora. <laughs> oh, thanks. thanks. Wow, well, you know, it was so hard. I know. Like, <laughs> like, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, yeah. I'm going to move about here um, and Sacred Flame. Go for it. Oh, that's me. Sorry. Yep. Oh, very bright. Uh... With, uh, which save? Wisdom? Dex. Dex. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, 12. Technically grappled, right? So Did you 12. roll a grapple check? Is he grappled? Technically, yeah. I mean, he's pinned. So that, that disadvantage then, right? Uh, let me check. Grapple. I think that's what it is. I'm pretty sure it's disadvantage. Oh wait, I have my I don't thing know, here. Beyond is really, really bad with this. Awesome. I've got grappled right here because I have a sheet thing. <laughs> uh, okay, so zero speed conditions. Become blah blah blah. blah. There's a fact. No, so it's fine. That removes grappled creature from the... A grappled creature's speed is zero yeah. and can't benefit from any bonus to speed. Yeah, so it's still... Uh, what did I say? 12? 12. Yeah. So, question. It says modifier on here is like plus two, and then spell attack is plus four, but then the save or hit DC is 12. So do I add anything to that, or it's still no. a 12? No, okay, just checking. Um, yeah, so 
Yeah. Get hit. Save is modifier plus proficient. Is eight plus modifier plus proficiency. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, so that's just like for me. All right. Yeah. So it would be eight plus proficiency, which is two, so ten plus whatever your modifier for that skill is, gotcha. for your okay. casting skill. For me. Oh, okay. Yeah, but because this one's just um, a deck save, it doesn't count for that. Right. So, so your your paladin, so your casting modifier is charisma, right? Mm -hmm. So, what's your modifier? It says on here plus two. Okay, so then it would be a save of twelve. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, isn't that the um, number that's on the spell sheet? Spell save DC. Yes. Same yeah. DC. Yeah. Yeah. Or would he be considered restrained? That's a different thing. No, yeah, you're right, actually. Because a restrained creature, speed is zero, like grapple. Attack rolls against a creature have advantage. Either way, yeah, even if I did roll disadvantage, it, it was still a 12. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so nothing happened. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Um, so got your movement. I moved a little. I'm gonna say where I am. Okay. Uh, Flick, you're up. Well, since it sounds like Kendra is being sucked dry, Flick is going to move past Liam up behind Kendra and just kind of whisper, "Hold still." <laughs> As the sound of a nail flicking against a thin metal needle is heard, and I an injection, don't trust is, this. an injection is placed directly into the back of Kendra's shoulder, casting a first level cure wounds. Oh, that is you gonna feel it seven. So Kendra heals seven. Thanks. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, that's it for now. All right, Liam, you're up. Keep the sorcerer on her feet. That was almost a full heal. With a it... suppository needle, basically. Oh, God. <laughs> um, Everyone how... needs their booster shots. <laughs> Good news, everyone. It's a suppository. <laughs> um, no, it's enough... the back of shoulder. Is there enough room for me to get into the room right next to the uh, the necromancer? Yeah, if you went to the bed. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stroll up slowly, whistling, you know, flipping my um, flipping my dagger because you know. At this point, Kendra can't get ahead of me. Um... <laughs> yeah, so you see Kendra, like, kind of, the life draining for her. You see Flick, all the while, you're just strolling up while Flick's running up and, like, stabbing her with a heel thing. And you're just like, yep. what you doing? Liam's like, well, oh, not taking this serious. Uh, <laughs> come up. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to roll an attack with my sword my short sword okay um is it possible to specifically target chopping off his hand the <laughs> one in the bed yeah the one that has kendra's hand next to it yeah yes <laughs> live dangerously <laughs> um i think that go ahead and roll the hit right. and then yeah go ahead and roll the hit just, just as a reminder, guys, I'm chaotic neutral, so <laughs> it doesn't mean you're chaotic stupid. <laughs> Natural twenty. Okay. Plus five. All right. Okay. All right. I mean, natural twenty. You don't care what the plus is. That I was, I was gonna try and make you roll a specifically aiming for that, but with twenty, yeah, yeah. What was it? Your sword. Yep. Sword, sword. All right, roll for damage. I mean, for criticals, weren't we just saying maximum roll? Oh, no, 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 that's right, that's right. I'm sorry, I was still thinking we're doing double dice. 
Yeah. So what's the max on that? Uh, max is six. Okay. Plus three. So uh, nine. <clears throat> and uh, since everyone's there, that's sneak attack two. Which is four. Sneak, sneak attack, you just roll four. So yeah. Yeah. So that's a four. And um, I'm slicing off his hand while I do it. Okay. All right. Man, Liam walking up and just whistling, like whistling Dixon <laughs> the tail off his hand. That worked out a lot better than I thought it would. Yeah. So you're just strolling up to this. You're watching all this chaos happen. And then you guys just see Liam pull out his short sword and he just and it goes right in the middle of the wrist and the wrist just pops off and tumbles over. Um, Kendra, you actually now have the hand stuck on your dagger. So it's released and you have it in hand. Are you sure you wouldn't just prefer my hatchet, Liam? Nope, we're good. And, uh, I still got a bonus, so I'm gonna roll for just a, a normal hit with my dagger. All right. And that is that's a six to hit. All right, so you, you miss. Um, yep. You're too elated about what you just did. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. You have a dagger. <laughs> All right, Rowan, you're up. Mm. Um, you are shoulder to shoulder with the other two in here. I know, yeah. How long has it been since we all bathed? <laughs> because we're 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 getting pretty close up to each other. Getting stinky. Um, I keep myself clean, thank you. <laughs> Do I still have enough room to to uh, swing my warhammer without taking out Kendra? Overhead swing. Yeah, overhead swing. Overhead swing, mm -hmm. okay. I'm gonna overhead swing with my Warhammer. Um, Just picture him as a big nail. Yeah, but I'm not trying to, like, full-on kill him. Aim for the shoulder. Uh, I I want to be... I'm not trying to kill him. Here's a hammer to the I know, uh, overhead <laughs> swing. I'm just gonna try and tap him. <laughs> uh, that's a 22 to hit. Yes. <laughs> uh, Roll damage. Oh, God. Oh, this is a D8. Hold on. Wrong thing. Uh, four bludgeoning is what it is. All right. So you just kind of... Was that one-handed or two-handed swing? One. One? All right. So you swing just kind of swing overhand... <laughs> You almost, like, bop it. You just kind of plunk right on his shoulder, and you hear a slight crack in his shoulder, the one that uh, is still where the hand is pinned into the desk. And he cries out. Anything else? Long live the king. <laughs> um, no, that will be... It if he uh, is still awake. Kendra, you're up. Don't ask any don't ask any of us for a hand. We've <laughs> already got one. Okay, well, I was I was debating what to do, but that was made really easy. Uh, we're going to <clears throat> since we're all just pretty much dogpiled on him. Uh, he's going, going nowhere. <laughs> he's going nowhere. So I'm, I'm taking. Uh, I'm taking my hand. I'm taking the dagger that has his other hand in it and just yanking it out so that way I can uh, so that way I can shove the dagger into onto his tongue to stop verbal components. We can heal it later. Uh, you're gonna stab his tongue? 
No verbal components for your spells, bitch. Are you like shoving your dagger up through his chin? <laughs> no, in, into the mouth. Because taking crap. it out will hurt and he'll scream and then go <laughs> down in. What if he doesn't open his mouth for your dagger? Well, teeth can break. What's your alignment again? <laughs> Holy cow. So much for design soul. This is fucking I feel, ballistic. I feel like we took Kendra to a bar and now, like, all hell broke loose. So here's no. my reasoning on why this is fine. Because we can heal him and he's also a necromancer, so I'm not really sure if he's actually human still. All right. Uh... You can recover his injuries, therefore torture is viable. <laughs> Roll it. You want a fucking CIA agent here. Yeah. They're lawful good, right? That's fine. It's an at one anyway. So you're going to stab Liam instead. Oh, I'm fine with that. <laughs> so you you yank the uh, knife out of his hand from the desk, and you have to tug hard enough that you have one of these moments where you pull and smack your own self in the forehead with it. Oh no, that hurts. Yeah. How much damage is Just, that? We'll take one bludgeoning. Oh no. <laughs> and you're going to have a nice little bruise right above that eye. <laughs> I'm not healing that. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Going to, uh, going to just off, just offhand with my dagger. Stab him in the wrist. That seems to be the only thing that I'm good at right now. With with which dagger? With the one that his hand is in. <laughs> Are you just making a kebab? Yes. Uh, go for it. Twenty-two. <laughs> kebab. All right. So you pull out the other one, smack your head in the forehead, and you immediately go down for the other one. He's just Three barely damage. had relief, and he's like, ah! Three damage. All right. And, uh, yeah. that We're gonna end the turn by letting go and just walking away. We're done with this shit. You can keep the daggers. <laughs> I'm done with it. I'm done with this. Going over here. Attack for opportunity. With what hands? <laughs> With his nub. He's got <laughs> he does have a stump. Let me allow me to read this uh, real quick. All right, you're fine. <laughs> I'm done. Go go over. I'm going to go over near Sora and just like plop down on the ground and just be done with this. <laughs> Before you hit your head, you know I'm not healing that. <laughs> I can I can heal it. Just mad. I'm sorry. Okay. Path of vengeance, Sora. So, uh, all right, so Rowan and Liam, you guys are watching this escapade happen, and you suddenly see a silvery mist surround the necromancer and you hear like the air and he disappears. Did he just misty step? And he appears right behind Kendra. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> He really doesn't like you. <laughs> oh man, that messes up what I was gonna do, but that's also perfect. And oh, would you look at that? The spell for Misty Step requires a verbal component. 
Had you I mean, only you gotten his, his tongue. tongue. <laughs> All right. So he comes up to you. That's like an insult to injury. Like, oh, you went for my tongue? Uh -huh. yeah, I'm going for you now. Yeah. And now that his hand is free because your dagger is still in the table uh, with his other hand, he reaches his hand up and he just grabs your neck and that is a uh ask for consent <laughs> uh, roll, roll 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 for that shit and that is 19 to hit well never mind <laughs> You asked for the roll. You got the roll. At least, at least, at least you rolled. <laughs> I swear to God. I got a feeling I know exactly what that spell was that he cast. So I'm not too happy about if he's doing it again. So that's 13 points necrotic damage. Come on, death saves. <clears throat> okay. So you I guys, really was done with this. <laughs> you guys see uh, the necromancer disappear, and um, I would say Sora and Flick. Flick, you see it at the corner eye. Sora, you see it head on. Uh, he appears right behind Kendra, and with his remaining hand that is blood just pouring down, he reaches out with his long nails and he grabs at her neck, and um, you see Kendra all of a sudden just make a silent scream and like necr necrosis black just kind of starts seeping out from that hand. And it looks like uh, the life is just draining from her. Um, her skin starts to turn gray. Her hair starts to go uh, ashy and she drops to the ground. All right. <clears throat> That brings us to Sora. You've just watched uh, Kendra fall to the ground. After oh, sitting not down good. and pouting. Not good. I am going to move closer to Necromancer. It's funny. I was telling my friends who were watching the game earlier that I'm probably going to be the first one to die um, because of all those that I took earlier. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> it's because I stopped playing cautiously because we were just steamrolling everything. You were steamrolling everything. Yeah. <laughs> Get me honest. When I was kind of back there, I was like, oh. "What are you doing?" I, I also I forgot. So as you saw uh, her dra uh, the necromancer draining that life, you saw the the blackness go up into the necromancer's hand before it dropped her, and you saw. Um, when she dropped, you saw the hand that was still holding her, that wound healed over. And now it's your turn, Sora. Okay. Hit with stick. Um, what? Hit with stick. Well, I want to take my longsword and just, like, swipe down, like, I guess as that's happening... So maybe I can like cut it off. Yeah, roll to hit. He's turning this guy into the Black Knight. The funny thing is, had he not done that, I was gonna I was gonna try to do an intimidation on him. So Intimidated Necromancer. Mm. What was it? 13? Does not hit. Hmm. So you swing at him, um, but your your mind is still half on your uh, fallen teammate on the ground. Anything else? Uh... No. <laughs> Flick, you're up. Liam, you're on deck. <clears throat> well, we're going to 
spin about, bring up the alchemy tools, and fire off a fiery flask of flame. That's... I, I'm out of the spell slots. I've got fire and acid. And I'm dropping my dice. Uh, 16 to hit. That hits. Alright. Where's my d10? That is not... Uh, four fire damage. Okay. I cannot roll good on my damage roll. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, no, I don't have a lot of good. Okay. Liam, you're up. Hmm. Stick your head to the burning curtain and figure <laughs> out where he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk out of the curtain. Well, not walk. I'm going to run out because now I'm confused. Um, and I where did he go? I don't like that happening, so I'm going to run out uh, next to Sora just so I can look around and I see him there. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, hi. <laughs> and I see Kendra on the floor and sort of like Principal Skinner from The Simpsons. I just look and go, pathetic. Uh, <laughs> Just, <laughs> I've got steamed hams on the mind today. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna roll my short hams, sword. I wonder. Uh, so I'm gonna roll my short sword uh, a hit on him. Okay. And that is a 15 to hit. That hits. Okay. Uh, so that's gonna be four points. No, seven points, and then with sneak attack because Sora's right there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, seven. That, that's a one. Uh, so that's gonna go up to eight points of damage. Total. Yeah. Okay. And with my bonus action, inventory. I think I. Sorry. Give me one moment as I look through my inventory mm -hmm. real quick. Uh, I don't. Oh man, it's probably the other game that didn't happen. Okay, uh, then with my bonus action, I'm going to roll for an attack with my dagger. Okay. Uh, that's a 22 to hit. Definitely hits. And that is two points of damage. All right. I honestly was going to use that to uh, try to put a poor potion down Kendra's mouth, but the potion's in another game. <laughs> <laughs> I could have sworn it was in my inventory, but no. All right. So you guys, Liam, you pop out. You're almost like surprised he's right there. So surprised that you instantly strike out with your sword. To the other side of you. <laughs> and then you make a swipe with your dagger. And he's looking pretty hard at this point. Uh, that brings us to Rowan. Okay. I'm going to run out. Um, and I'm going to see Kendra on the ground, so I'm going to run up to her, and with my bonus action, use Healing Word, so it's 1d4 plus spellcasting modifier. So you heal nine hit points. Wait. Does... What's your spellcasting modifier? Five. Oh. <laughs> okay, that gets me back up. All right, so you guys, Rowan, you come up. Um, all you see is Kendra on the ground, and you just you immediately... Uh, no, you need to come help her. And she comes up, um, you come up to Kendra and you, um, 
I actually don't need to touch. It's just like I say uh, the words. Okay, so you speak Get up, you fool. words, <laughs> and you can see the light fill um, Kendra, and um, it starts where her pendant is, and you notice from there it spreads into the rest of her, and she. <gasps> And you see uh, the life come back into her. Um, the skin reheals. The hair goes back to her normal red. Um, and she sits up coughing and gasping for air. Okay. And that was my bonus action. So um, I'm going to then... I guess be stuck, uh, take a swing at this necromancer with my warhammer. Okay. I think you may just want to skirt around. Let's go. Probably not a whole lot of room to swing there. Here we go. I'll go here. <laughs> that works. Uh, 13 to hit. That misses. So you were just right. a little too focused on Kendra and um, in the healing moment, and you're you just you swung and missed. Um, Kendra, you have just felt warmth come through you, and you feel revitalized. Um, you're still kind of hurting, but you are sitting uh, you're sitting up at this point. Did you meet your daddy? He's right in front of me. <coughs> that was not pleasant. <laughs> Wouldn't there be like blood from the necromancer all over her neck from when he touched her too? <laughs> Yeah, essentially. He's he's got necro blood. <laughs> so she's going to uh pick she's picking up her daggers and just since he's still within melee reach, just her daggers that were just, left impaled into the desk. Oh yeah. She's got no she I think one. you got one. Yeah, you've got one with you. One. Okay, so she's got one dagger. I need to get more daggers. <laughs> um, got one dagger. She looks over at him and just plunges it into him into his stomach. Do it. That is math twenty three. Yeah, roll damage. That's seven damage. How you want to do this? Oh, perfect. <laughs> she take she with two two shaky hands on the dagger, just coming back from the brink of death. She slowly walks forward and just pushes it in, <gasps> staring into him. And he just I hope I right you back. feel what I felt and much much worse. <laughs> With wild eyes staring right back at you. He just smiles, blood coming over across his teeth. <laughs> you will. And he just falls to the side. All right. And I did misspeak. You should only have plus seven HP, not nine. Okay, that's fine. Uh after which she then just falls back down to her knees and is just weeping. Yep. Are you sure she shouldn't have gone barbarian with all that berserking? <laughs> <clears throat> hey, Kendra. The first round of the pub's on my on me. Oh no. I think I could use a drink. Bear with Liam me. Is all you think about drinking. Kendra, 
Kendra. I searched the take body. A, take a breath. Can I search I the know. body? <laughs> yes. I never want to do anything like that again. It's just going so well. So well. Yes. Uh, sorry, my roll 20 killed out on me. Bear with me. Google Chrome! Clouds! All right. Yes, okay. um, you want to investigate the body. Mm -hmm. uh, go for it. She, while that's done, she gets back up and she, she, dry, she dries her tears. That will never happen again. Uh, is there something specific you want me to roll? Investigation or something? Or Yes, roll for investigation. Okay. In, um, while speaking with Kendra, I just say, like, hand on shoulder, if that's cool. Uh, mm -hmm. Looks for Zvash. Which in Draconic is, you're strong. I'm not worthy mm -hmm. of that, but I will strive to be. Did a good thing. I know it was hard, but you did great. And you should know that. While Roan's investigating the body, can I investigate the room? I'm not investigating that body. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a body. She's like, I'm gonna look at it and then nah. Yeah. yeah. She just kinda toes it, just kinda kicks it. Well, can I still investigate that room? Uh I'd like to investigate the desk myself. Okay. She has any notes. So but both of you roll investigations. Someone else can also... investigate the body. <laughs> yeah, I also have a question. Yeah. Um, when he went down, did the stone react or do anything? Uh, no. I rolled oh, a 16 no. on investigation for that room. Okay. 21 on uh, the desk. All right. I rolled a 14 on emotional stability. <laughs> Is that performance check? <laughs> All right. Performance. Bear with me. Maybe survival. Kendra's been unstable since we came into this hole. Well, maybe. Are you claustrophobic? Uh, I she might be now. Maybe just corpsophobic. Maybe she does maybe she's just afraid of Liam. <laughs> All right. <sighs> okay. So you just find mostly, um, Liam, you find like, uh, just some drink, um, uh, a keg of ale in there. You, uh, basic supplies. You see some clothes, uh, kind of spread chaotically throughout the room. Um, the bedding you do find under the mattress um, 165 silver pieces, 78 gold pieces, and then four polished jet gems that are each worth 50 gold pieces. Me? Jet gems? Jet gems. Right, and they're worth 50 gold pieces a piece? Yep. 
Okay. To find something good, Liam. And Flick, you said you're looking in the uh, desks? Yes. And what did you roll? 21. Okay. Uh, you pull open one of the drawers and you're reaching in and you feel a like the drawer is too far forward for how it's just odd. And so you reach around and find a trigger and pull the drawer out and there's a hidden spot behind it. And you find a, you find a wand and it's uh, got some curling up around the actual um, portion that you hold. And it is a wand of magic missiles. Oh my God, that's amazing. That's a nifty find. That's a that's a nifty, that's a nifty thing. Is that all that's in the drawer? That's or it. Behind the drawer, rather. Really? That's it. You see, you see scrawlings on paper. Um, they are maddening looking. You see quite a few with the um, the eye on it. Uh, almost, almost like he's a, was obsessed with it. So now that he's dead. I'm gonna I'm gonna empty my backpack and just like throw the backpack over the over the thing in the middle to like see if I see if we can move it. Oh, I did want to investigate the gym more before you did. Okay, so Liam, what did you find? I found 165 pieces of silver and 78 pieces of gold. Money. <laughs> All right. I suppose after the first round, you're caring to share some of that, I would hope. Of course. Um, it's expensive. I would. For one thing, um, I'm keeping quiet about the four jet gems. Mm -hmm. um, but. I, I, what I've been doing is I looked at the conversion rate for splitting up that money. So it's going to be 15 gold pieces for each person, seven silver and five copper. I mean, if there's no actual copper pieces, it'd be hard to split that. Right. Well, I'm just looking at like how to evenly split this. So we're going to have to go to a money convert uh, converter or exchange. I find a smaller share. I just need money for my tools. Yeah, I mean, you found it. I, I would just say just you can divide what the gold was and then... Divide the gold and silver and take the larger portion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Fli uh, Liam, make mm -hmm. a sleight of hand check for me. Sure thing. Sleight of hand. At advantage. With advantage? Yeah. Okay, that's a natural 20. Okay. Um, okay. No. <laughs> I'm just going to stop right there. Yeah, you, just stop right there. Yeah, no, you, you totally, Flick was uh, involved with finding the wand, and you were able to palm those jet uh, gems easily. So what's going to happen then is, hold on. One six five for that five. That's an even thirty-three. Seventy-eight divided by six. So everyone's gonna get thirteen gold pieces. Um, and then I'm gonna step. Out, I'm gonna stay out of the silver, and all of you guys get uh, thirty-three silver pieces. You said thirteen gold, thirty-three silver. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that, Liam. It was very nice. Why are you so generous suddenly? Well, we all did this together. All right. Uh, I feel like we can pay your tab later. You do. Ha you did have a bit of a rough, uh, a rough go there. Each of you gets 
147 XP. From all the uh, skeletons, hands, and uh, yeah, boss. You said one forty-seven, right? Yep. I mean, to be fair, the hands didn't put up much a fight. <laughs> they were they were two hit points. <laughs> We probably could have just ignored them. <laughs> no, no, cat. Cat's trying to reach for the sword. No. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> and uh, Kendra, you were going to. You made a swipe with the bag. Well, first I wanted to with investigate it before. Kendra yeah, I will, I will wait. Okay. I'm going to wait for the investigation so, and the bag. What are you investigating, Sora? I just want to see if, like, I've learned about this stone, like, if there's anything we need to be cautious about. The sphere or the sigil? Well, both. Um. That's for now. Uh, make a... Uh, make an arc. What are you checking for? Like, if you recognize what it is? Mm -hmm. Um... Yes. Make an arcana check. So we should have 647 total XP now, right? Mm -hmm. That's what I got. I got. That's what I got. I accidentally hit the set XP instead of add XP. So, so it's a dirty 20. Okay. Um, you don't recognize the sigil. Um, you do recognize... Uh, that that glowing sphere, um, the crystal, it, it's a drift globe, um, which is essentially, um, it's a crystal sphere that uh, can emanate light from it. Um, let's see. Yeah, so it, it emits light, essentially. Um, there's no really damage that can come from it, unless you were to, like, break it over someone's head. What are you stabbing, Liam? <laughs> I'm sorry? I just saw a short sword to hit roll pop up. <laughs> no. no. Um, okay, so knowing no damage can come from it, I'm going to... Like, gently try and grab it. Okay. The second you touch it, the sigil disappears. Just pops out. And what do you, do? you have a drift globe. And it's just wherever you hold it, light emanates from it. Uh, I wanna Maybe give it to the person who can't see in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be helpful. All right, here you go. Would you like Is this to put a on to chest that? of drawers in here next to the desk? Yeah. Mind if I go through that too? Go for it. Investigation. Let's see. Let's rummage through his underwear. <laughs> That's a fourteen. Uh, you <laughs> see more of the drawings um, with the etchings of the eye, and they just. The ones in the in the dresser look um, less crazy than the ones that you see on the desk. The desk looks like almost like the the charcoal has gotten thicker, and you can just see a progression of where uh, he was steadily getting crazier and crazier. That's Nothing it. else of no other value in the drawers. Anything? Nope. And Sora, were you giving Kendra the drift club? Yes. Okay. And then nice. I'm going to call out to Flick. Flick, are you finding anything interesting in there? More of that symbol than a wand. The symbol over the stone? Yes, that one. Hmm. Seems he was 
far more obsessed than we may have thought. I wonder. Kendra, you can add the drift globe. If you look up drift globe, did. you did? Okay, great. I got a wizard chip. Hmm? It's like you said you found a wand. What does it do? I Magic missile. Fairly standard wizard spell. Oh. Could come in handy. There's not... My tools only have so many uses. It might provide more versatility. Do you think you could make better use? Mm. I'm not sure. Once my spells are out, I'm down to just throwing little bits of fire. But I already you have a... Quite well, you did quite well with those daggers. Yes. I, I don't think it should go to me. I've, I've got... I have this ball now that will make it so I can see. <laughs> but you didn't like the one I gave you. Well, this one's just better. Fine. And it belonged to that necromancer, so I, I'm stealing from him, and it feels better. It feels better in my soul. So you're taking a magical tool used by a necromancer? Yes. What, what does magic missile do? It's uh, an unerring bolt of arcane energy. It's basically an auto-hit spell that... Uh, Goes through shield. Yeah. It has to if the spell no matter what, just pew-pew, it will hit. Guaranteed damage. Yep. Maybe Sora should take it. I think he. <laughs> okay, the first night. All right. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, that's, that's, that's me talking, not Sora. <laughs> that's a Sora, real on the other hand. <laughs> yeah, no, that's. I think me. Sora has her hands. Uh, that's a, a kind thought. Um, I'm, but I'm, I'm okay for now. But thank you for thinking of me. It doesn't require attunement, so we could just pass it around to who needs it. No, what? It doesn't require attunement, so you could just hand it to anyone. Yeah, that's, that's what I was looking at, because I've got it at it. Seven casts of magic missile recharges over time, basically. Nice. Unless I use a bulb that's full of charges, then it has a chance of disintegrating. That's fine. I'd say keep it for now. Mm. Use it against uh, enemy spellcasters to make them make three con saves for concentration. I feel like that'll work a lot better than stabbing their hands. <laughs> <laughs> concentration. Make three constitution saves to maintain it. Good luck. Now that we've taken care of that thing, should we head back to town? That's probably for the best. There was a staircase in the room with the chair. Maybe we should take a look at that. What was it that you found, Sora? Nothing. I didn't look for anything. I was just um, investigating the stone. I thought you grabbed it. Yeah. I handed it to Kendra. Okay, it was it was the glowing thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was it called? A uh, drift globe. Drift globe. Yeah. All right. So you guys are heading to look at the stairs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, specifically uh, behind everyone. No rear guard. All right. I'm just gonna move you. All right, so you guys are back over here, and uh, you gonna sit in a chair, Liam? Now's your chance. I'm gonna flick a copper piece at the uh, chair. And see what happens when it lands on the chair. <sighs> Nothing happens. I threw a copper piece at a zombie, and now he throws copper at everything. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. I already did an investigation check on the chair, so I can't do it again. Uh. No, no, no. I'm done here. I got what I came for. Pocket money and slapped around? I mean, pretty sure I did the slapping. <laughs> Sounds uh, like a good Saturday night. <laughs> um, I am wondering, though, isn't there somewhere else that we need to check? I mean, where we came from, with the bank and everything had other tunnels. To go down some stairs now. Can we find any sort of connection between here and there? We could walk all the way back. There is a staircase right next to Flick. We don't know where yes, that goes. Yes, this is what I thought we were coming back here to investigate. Yep, yep, yep. Kendra, go first, since you like to. <laughs> you are hilarious. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop picking on the poor girl. She's been eaten once today already. Side note, before we continue, do we want to take a rest? I'm very it's, exhausted. Good. it's in a cave, but I'm also looking at my hit points. <laughs> do you want to Take a break and sit in your new favorite chair. I don't know if I'll sit in the chair. I'll roll out my bedroll. I don't feel keen on spending the night here. Could just do a short rest. You can at least use your hit die then. Where are you at? I'm um, not too hit. I'm not too low. I'm not like at eleven, but I think we just fought a couple people. We've all used some just sort of ability. To sit down. Down. Excuse me? Just want to have a bit of a sit down. Yeah, I mean, wouldn't hurt. Stick I'll... your finger in the bleeding wounds to make them stop. I mean, I may not be using magic, but where are you guys on your uh, slots? I have absolutely nothing left. I need more time to prepare spells, but I can manage without them. Yeah, I can I, stab I things. I've used up my spell slots, but that's a long rest. You can stab thing. I can stab, I can stab things. things. You only have one dagger. Okay. okay, if we're all for stabbing, let's continue. I'm not so good at stabbing, but I still have acid and fire. Can I say you it's right. Can help with um, lay on hands? Is hmm? that a thing? Can you what? Can I heal myself with lay on hands? Yeah. Yes. Great. Let me do that. Healing. <laughs> I'm gonna give myself uh, five points. But with the short rest, could we do a bathroom break? Mm -hmm. In real life? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Let's let's definitely do that. Let's do a bathroom break. Um. Let's do a, you want to just do like another 10 minute break like we did last time? Sure. Give us time to sure. regroup. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'd be back. I'm just going to look to the chat. Someone said, help Liam find God. <laughs> That didn't go as planned. Who, any idea who said that? Um, Platinum Poppy. Or Plantain Poppy. That's it. I was like, what? That is not what it was. I can't read. <laughs> Alright, I shall return.
There we are. We need to get Liam his own set of dice. Since I don't actually get anything out of a short rest, since that seems to be what we're doing, any chance I could uh, look around the cave for kind of usable lichens or molds for alchemical components? Yeah, I can roll a nature check or... Uh, no, just anything that might be... I think it could be either or. And you're just... So I, I just I have better bonuses to nature. Okay. That is a sixteen. Because that's kind of Flick's whole shtick is sticking things in her mouth to find out what they. That's why I have big gloves. So if possible, I would like to carefully collect some into one of my glass vials. Glass vial of necromancy lichen. <laughs> I haven't brought this up yet, but I'm going to feel really bad if you guys get to town. Um, so I'm going to let one of you all do it. Kendra has not gotten her dagger from the desk yet with the hand in it. <laughs> Thanks for letting us know, Deanne. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I've been here. I'm just... <laughs> Our daggers. <laughs> They're like a couple pieces. They're not expensive. So my cat wants to die. 
Why? Because I feel like she's about to do it again. Because she jumped onto my computer. Oh, it's, she wants you to pay attention to her. Yeah, daggers are. I guess they're just looking for two gold points. <laughs> two gold piece. I can't stop her from being in here because her bed is in here, her litter box is in here, her food is in here, her water is in here. She keeps on messing with shit that she's not supposed to. What's her name? Hera. Uh -oh. Hera? Yeah, because she's a queen and a oh. bride. Oh. <clears throat> All right. So uh, everyone took a short rest. Um, while you guys were resting, Flick was, um, she was kind of investigating the walls and um, had pulled some carefully, very carefully gathered some uh, lichen from the walls, which she had, uh, was able to tell that uh, they were, had a necromantic property to them. <coughs> Excuse me. And so she grabbed some of that up and scooped that up. Uh, and then Flick revealed to Kendra that she was one dagger short. How much healing do we get from a short rest? You use your hit dice. For whatever reason, I can't figure out how to make that work on D&D Beyond. D&D Beyond is goofy about it. So, you get a hit dice for every character level? So, you, so every so for your level two, 2 hit dice, you get half of them back in a long rest, so you can use a hit dice and roll it, and you get that much HP back. And so your rogue... I don't remember what the rogue hit dice is. It's a, it's a 1d8. Okay, so you, you have two... You have two D8s you can roll to regain health, and you get half of them back every long rest. So if you used one now and regained one D8 hit points, you would get that hit dice back the next time you long rest. Because you have a total of two because you have two character level. You should have something on the top of your bar here. It says short right. rest. You click it, there's a little red thing here that I have digital dice enabled, you should too. So roll, like let's say I wanted to use these two. It's rolling in. Uh, it's rolling in. Uh, roll twenty. Hold on, I think. For you, it is. Cause you have to get oh no. All right. I mean, I have. I've been rolling on uh, D and D Beyond this whole time. I'm just. Yeah. So, to... I it's you would uh, go to short rest, and then um, I guess just roll a D eight. Oh, I think it's D8 plus level? Yeah, it's tell me D8 plus one. One D8 plus one? Yeah. Okay, so that's what you get back. So I get five HP points. Yep. But my max is 15, so I'm just capped at max. Nice. Cool. Thanks, guys. Oh, that's how yeah. Helium Chart Rest works. It's a really... So, so do you guys want to look and... around anymore? We got those stairs, don't we? We didn't really get I'm to investigate here much. Let's, uh, I'm gonna check out the skeletons. Okay. I'd like to look at these rocks. Mm hmm. We're here. Can I go up the stairs and chuck them out? Yeah, go for it. <clears throat> the DM is smiling. Maybe you hold off on the stairs. <laughs> Am I restricted by my movement? I mean, we're not in initiative phase. Okay, then I'm just gonna go uh, here because now Liam is back to being Liam. Okay. I'll go with He's Liam. 
wherever the hell he went. I'm like in the darkness. <laughs> yeah. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I have a feeling those stairs go back to Red Larch. Or maybe not. To join them. Yeah. So you guys see a oh. basically the stairs lead up, uh, the three that are up there, and they just lead to a ledge overlooking um, a small, very tiny, like little um, cavern area. Uh, let me get back there. That's probably one of the passageways we didn't take. And you see um, a table with some chairs, um, and there is a chest in there. Can I throw Liam? Oh, and you notice at the ledge, there are um, a, another big box of, like, crate of big rocks and boulders. Um, and you get the sense that had you come down here, uh, you would have been smashed. <laughs> this I is. Know you were I know you were joking, Rowan, but I totally want to jump down there. So let's do that all special. I was gonna say I, I can give you a limp off point. Yep. I can get like my shield down, like the what the uh, uh the, the Avenger lift off. You're just going to projectile him into the far wall. I mean, I've got athletics. He's got athletics, i got strength. And acrobatics. I mean, acrobatics isn't going to stop you from, you know, impact force. <laughs> you want to do just it? Just watching it happen. <sighs> How how high up are we from the ground? Uh, it's it's not very high. Maybe like uh, twenty feet at most. We'll save the fastball special for our next fight. I like this idea. It can be a trademark move. So Rowan, think... you're throwing him in there? No, no. I'm just gonna jump down. Oh, okay. <laughs> maybe wait before you jump down in there should you maybe like take a dagger and uh trip the uh, trap that's there so that it falls and then you jump in? well i mean as long as no one pushes it down on me hmm. i don't know you've pissed kendra off enough <laughs> it's tempting I just gave you a large portion of the money we found, an equal share of what we found. Completely equal. Yeah. Wink, wink, nod, nod. Oh, I say, are you saying that you would have excluded me? It's tempting. <laughs> okay. I'm going to jump down. <laughs> I'm down the stairs. You're both terrible people. So make a athletics check. Okay. That is... Don't fuck me, don't fuck me, don't fuck me. Ooh, that's a seven. Okay. So you jump down and you land right on the table and it you kind of lose your balance and you wind up just falling right on your ass and it just smashes around you. <laughs> you know the sound the Link from Legend of Zelda makes when he lands and doesn't roll landing? As, as I land, I'm just going to scream back up at them. Just like I planned! <laughs> roll a d4, too. Oh, no. I don't think he actually plans anything. <laughs> I rolled a one on the people. Okay, but you just take one damage from the fall. And I just healed that. <laughs> and you wouldn't be wrong, Kendra. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is planned. 
I just hope for the best. Yeah. So Liam is in the room, sitting uh, in the middle of a smash table. Uh, sorry guys, I don't mean to monopolize things. Um, but since I'm in the room, can I investigate? Yeah, what are you looking for? Just general investigation, see if I find anything of note in the room. Okay. Since we didn't go in the room before. Yeah, you see like a, uh, a cabinet off to the side. Um, it's got writings and stuff in there. Nothing really, it just looks like crazy scribbling. Um, you see some jars with, uh, like, uh, some eyeballs in it. Um, there is a small drawer if you pull it out and there are fingers in there. Um, and there are two chests on the far wall. And then, um, on this one just south of you, there's another, like, set of drawers and, um, what'd you roll? Oh, I didn't, I didn't roll an investigation. Oh, yet. okay. Um, and you see another chest below you, or like a drawer set below you. Okay. Uh, should I roll an investigation now? Which, where are you going to look for? I'm going to look in the chests. Okay. Which one are you going for first? Which of the two again? Uh, they're the, these two right here. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go for the one on the left. Okay. That's a natural 20. Okay. That's, that's three net 20s for me tonight. I'm never going to roll two net 20s again. <laughs> so you uh, you look around the chest. It's made of pretty solid oak. Um, it's got iron bars up and around it. Uh, it's not locked or anything. Um, yeah, and it's... What's in it? You want to open it? Of course. <laughs> Sorry, I have like a muffin in my mouth. <laughs> so you open sort of it up. and there is um, a note inside with that same dark charcoal scribbling and it just says, ha ha. Fucker. <laughs> <laughs> What's it say? It says... Thank you for killing me. <laughs> you I'm inclined to not believe you. <laughs> I'm going to roll a deception check. Is that cool? A deception? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm rolling insight. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <Next. laughs> 11. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, you believe I mean, what uh, you believe what Liam says. Kendra should roll for her advantage. <laughs> he doesn't believe anything he says at this point. Uh, yeah, no, that that was still a. a now I'm getting a random phone call that I've never. Liam is very convincing. There's a reason why I pump things in the charisma. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I check the other chest then? Yeah, go for it. Or, okay, yeah, some investigation on it. Ron and Kendra, are you guys just kind of watching this happen? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, jumping down there. Kendra left. Ten. Ten? Uh, you see, it's it's uh, a little bit it's different. A it's a it's more of a boxy. Um, looks more like pine. It's a lighter wood. Uh, but yeah, again, there's no lock on it. I'm gonna open it. Okay, so you open it and um, you see that there is a just a kind of scattering of clothes in there. Um, you see like a shirt, you see um, a pair of shoes. Um, there is also a tabard, uh, not a tabard, um, it's kind of like a cloak, um, but it's got a uh, crest on the back of it. And- A surcoat? Hmm? A surcoat? Uh, no, it's more of like a cloak. And what's the uh, look like? What's the crest look like? 
Uh, it is a blue crest and it's got like a, a silver kind of um, triangle shield in the middle of the crest. And there are some two banner scrollings on it with uh, some script on it, which says... Uh, one of the scripts says dutiful to protect, dutiful to protect. And the other one says wisdom and mercy. And there are two whippet dogs like sitting back to back nobly and they're in silver as well. Okay. I'm going to take that cloak with me. Okay. And, uh, if I can shout out to uh to rowan to uh you know patch this rope i'm about to throw to her uh <laughs> so i can climb back up okay i'm ready okay what, what do i have to roll for that uh do a strength me or her you Here liam throwing it. well that's not good uh that's that's my that's my worst stat. That is ooh, nineteen with a negative one modifier, so eighteen. All right, so you you toss, you throw, you ball up the uh, cloak, and you toss it twenty feet into the air, and I thought he was t tossing a rope. Uh, uh, cloak, or are you tossing a rope? I'm sorry. The rope. Oh, rope. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm keeping the cloak, but I'm going to toss the rope so I can climb up. All right. I, was the cloak too. I do. Okay. So you toss a rope up. Rowan, are you going to catch it? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll catch it. All right. So I'm not even going to make you roll it. So you reach out and easily grab it. Um, and now you have a rope in hand. Kendra, can you uh, come over here and help me hold this rope? Sure. Why Why are we holding your rope? So that Liam can get back up here. Oh, well, why did you just say so? Let me handle this. <laughs> <laughs> while, while you were out, Kendra, by the way, um, Liam found a cloak with a crest on the back of it that he has stashed away. Because both of you would have been able to see that. You're probably doing all this when I have had time to check all <laughs> Yeah, well that's going on. I wanted to investigate over here. I saw that roll. Oh no, that was a. I was. A, I was just me testing a disadvantage. <laughs> you, I, I just found out that you could right click on a strength or anything and like roll for a disadvantage advantage instead of rolling twice. Yes. So I was playing around with that. Okay, so Sora, you're looking at the um slab of the rock tables, basically. So you find um like embalming, uh, instrument tool type things. Uh, you find, uh, like one of the curved blades used to cut skin open. Um, and yeah, they're basically just tools to cut bodies open. Okay. I'm going to start walking down the stairs, up the stairs. Can I roll an investigation on, uh, Skeletons one, two, and three. Yeah, go for it. All right. First one, one on the left, is a six. All right. So you just see the uh, bone melting in the acid still. It's, there's not a lot left to find in that one. All right. Next one is a 17. Uh, okay, so for that one, no, most of the bones melted away as well, but it, 
you do uh, see a, it was carrying like a bone type sword. Um, it's pretty damaged and dinged, but yeah. And number three. That is an eight. Uh, that one, I think that got by fire, if I don't remember. It, you don't find anything. <laughs> yeah. Are we all going up the stairs, or are we coming back down? Did you look through the doorway? Yeah. Did you see anything in this hallway, Liam? Oh, well, <clears throat> when pulling Liam up, I accidentally drop him. <laughs> I am not letting you pull him by yourself. I know better than <laughs> interaction. Oh, please, please, it'll be really funny. Can we just, just once, one time, then we can bring him back? As, as Liam is, is uh, being pulled up, bracing himself with a nut with his sword behind him. <laughs> That sounds dangerous. Live dangerously. Because I know you like to have a good time, I'm letting Kendra do this. I'm stripping back. Kendra, make a strength check. Or are you even going to try? Oh, darn. I have such a low strength. <laughs> what? What? Okay. Should, Four. Should I, <laughs> should I roll acrobatics? No, you you start to climb and the rope, like you don't even get like a, a three feet up before it just falls and you tumble to the ground again. You don't take damage this time. Yeah, maybe Rowan should help me. Uh, if I could handle it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just going to slip past them and drop down into the room. Well, I'm going to climb down in the room because I actually yeah. sleep with an eye open. Yeah, so Flick, I'm not even going to make you roll that either because it's only 20 feet. You you climb down in there easily. 20 feet is my climbing speed. So. Yeah. <laughs> so you're in the room. Anything you didn't check in here, Liam? I'm fairly certain I checked everything. You... I left some papers and some jars full of eyeballs, but if you think you can find something more useful, by all means. Jars full of eyeballs? Were they from humans? I would assume so, but I did not confirm, no. Didn't you say there was like another chest that you stood on or something strange? Um, there was another like um drawer right where you're at, Flick. Oh. Well, I'll check the chest of drawers and hopefully not roll a uh, nineteen investigation. Okay. So you open it and um it's full of femurs. Femur bones. Um they're they're all looking pretty. They're not white anymore. They're they're looking pretty um, grayish and black in area. And you notice the back of the uh, drawers. Um, they look like they've been eaten away. And some of that same mold and lichen have kind of grown in there, and that's kind of the black spots you see on some of the bones. You'd think necromancers could collect something nicer. I'm very rate, glad I did not check that drawer. <laughs> it's less interesting than the eyeballs, to be sure. The eyeballs are on the shelf to Liam's right. Or his Does left. Does it look human? <laughs> uh, they just, yeah, for the most part. I'll say yeah. <laughs> Because I'd imagine between Flick and Sora, we have a couple. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, there's only like four eyeballs in there, but yeah. Hmm. No ogres in the party. Well, shall we have a look at this hallway then? 
so you already would be able Good to idea. see that. Um, I'm going to hop down as well. Yep. Do I need to roll anything? Cause... Uh, just make a athletics. Because I'm kind of hoping I can pop my wings out and just glide down. Oh, you're doing you that? Have wings. You have wings? Wings? I have wings. Yeah. <sighs> So you guys watch Dragonborn actually had wings. The silver dragon hulking seven foot tall dragon step forward and as they jump, uh just almost like Mary Poppins kinda poop, and the wings flural out and you hear this leathery and there's not a lot of room, it's pretty small. Um but they just kind of turn and swirl until they hit the floor. I didn't think Dragonborn had wings. <laughs> they, I didn't think they did either. I... Hmm. <laughs> well, I did read some don't have tails, so that's interesting. <laughs> they have wings. Okay. Can you yes, fly? I'm, I'm, you down too. Fly. I'm not very confident in being able to make it down there. You go first. <laughs> I don't think anyone's willing to trust you holding a. <laughs> or do you want to? Do you need some help? Do you want to get like a, a jump off from my shield? Get the distance. You could go down and, and catch me. Is that is that what you want? Okay, I'll jump down. Do I need to do a? You said. You're making everyone do athletics? Yeah. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> so you go to jump down and uh, you realize Flick is right under you. And so you overcorrect and wind up going a little bit farther than you meant to um, and wind up tumbling to the ground at Liam's feet. Uh, just roll a d4 for me. I did not mean for that to happen. <laughs> Lumberfoots. One. You take one point of damage. My first damage of the night. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just laying there looking up at Liam. What are you looking at? Nothing. <laughs> All right, I pop back up. You need more flourish with your steps. And I go and stand <laughs> underneath, and I'm like, okay, Kendra, I'm ready. I don't trust you. <laughs> and then I jump. <laughs> At me, or? <laughs> I, I jump I jump down, so that way you'll catch me. I <laughs> aim towards you. Okay, I'm ready. What do I need? Do I need to roll anything? Yeah, athletics. Oh, fuck. Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. Okay. So you you jump into her arms, Rowan. Roll the strength check. I'm not that heavy. <laughs> I'm 198 pounds. I'm not that heavy. <laughs> Good lord. Ten. <laughs> so <laughs> your butt's still a little. Your little butt sore still from just dropping on your rear and um. You are able to catch Kendra, but you fall back onto your butt. I'm still oh, romantic. <laughs> still caught her. My hero. <laughs> All right, are you guys going down the uh, tunnel then? It seems so. I'm going to get up and try and try to help Rowan up. Do a strength check. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I you actually did it. Oh, I'm so glad too, because with modifiers, that was a one. <laughs> You're going to help them up and you just stand there pulling, doing nothing. <laughs> I just stand next to the adult with the little kid trying to get him up, and I'm just like, okay. <laughs> Stop pulling at my arm. Quit it. I appreciate it, Kendra, for trying. 
Sh shall we? Can we move forward, please? Yes. No, uh... oh, no, this is quite the show. Do continue. <laughs> All right, so Sora is already, she's making her way down. They are making their way down. She was upset about being last all that time, and now she's just like, I'm going. <laughs> yeah. all, of you, all of you are squishy, so. <laughs> I'm not that squishy. I resent that. I'm fluffy. And I'm going to stop right The spots that aren't burned, at least. All right, there's a long hallway, and there's a corner. I'm going to go right here and, like, peek around the corner. I feel this is back to where the jester was. Yeah. For sure is. <clears throat> yep. As we're going, and, uh... Actually, do you mind if I, I roll a sleight of hand check? Yeah. I'm taking the jar of my Okay, that's a 22. Okay. So, as we're going, I'm going to, since I'm behind Kendra, I'm going to sneakily give her a wet willy. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, this man. Is gonna be a beautiful <laughs> friendship. Uh, well, yeah. uh, I'm going to might scream next to someone else with big ears and <laughs> carries a lot of volatile chemicals. Kendra, you, you feel a wet finger dip into your ear. Uh, I do that scream and I turn around and smack Liam. Yeah. Can I, can I dog? Yeah, roll for unarmed. The only reason Kendra's going to increase her strength is just so she can smack Liam. <laughs> I mean, that's the, that's the combat training course right there. Slap, slap the thief. Uh, can I, that's, can a, I that's a 14. Oh, wait, that's a 15 because it's a plus one. What's your AC, Liam? 14. <laughs> Yay! Hey, you want to know what's funny? Uh, I have uh, my, my unarmed strikes deal zero bludgeoning damage. <laughs> it's to a minimum of one. All right, so no, it, it's right there. <laughs> you got you guys I, hear this I, I smack like a minimum of one that just reverberates along the cavern walls, and everyone just kind of freezes for a moment. And Liam, you don't feel any damage. You're just more like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I hope to see that. <laughs> <laughs> just be glad you weren't slapped by a tabaxi <laughs> or the dragonborn paladin like you, you felt it more in your heart than you did your actual face <laughs> oh bless your heart <laughs> you both have to be fire wow it really is. He has a negative modifier. She really has zero. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. I mean, I have the same thing as well, but I have claws, so my arm is better. All right. So, are you guys Please? essentially heading for the exit? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't think there's anything yeah. more we really care to see. Okay. So you guys exit. Um, there was the other path close to the entrance of the cave proper that we could take a peek down. Hey, it's our first dead zombie friend. <laughs> And other dead zombie friends. And dead skeleton friends. A lot of dead friends. They were already dead when we got here. I wonder if that says something about us. Okay. We may have to dig our way out of past the boulder. Um, 
zombies. Is there anything out of place since we were last in here? Um, no, no, not that you can tell. Uh, nothing has really moved. It all looks pretty much the same. And yes, uh, Flick is right. There is still a uh, certain level of boulders. It's not completely to the top, but I mean, there's a small gap, but uh, it is that area. Well, we dropped them down, so I'm sure there's enough room above that we could go over them. Mm-hmm. Which I'm going to do because I can climb. Hey, Liam, do you want me to launch you up? Let's do it. Fastball <laughs> special. Get you to the top of the pile. I'm 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 sorry, DM. Uh, I'm looking for our version of Fluffernutter. <laughs> um. <laughs> Um, Sora get past so easily. Yeah, Sora, you may have to. There's boulders here. Let me have you roll a athletics, I think, because I'm gonna have you. You're you're pretty big. You're gonna have to kind of really squeeze through. I'll put myself back. <laughs> Trying to be sneaky. <laughs> no, I'm just you know. Mosey and all <laughs> Sora just like um, Mr. Kool Aid Man through it. <laughs> well, it makes it easy for us. They're all the 13. 13? Okay. Yeah. So you, you're able to squeeze your way. It's really tight in some areas. Um, and your cloak gets caught a couple times, but you're able to kind of stumble your way through. You have to push some boulders out of the way. So fortunately, you have made a bigger spot for the others to climb through. This is not, not a... I check my cloak. And, oh, dust myself off. Alright, I'm basically going to take my shield and like bend down on one knee. Be like, okay, Liam, I'll give you a little boost. And I'm going to push you up. Can I try to, like, flip over the rocks then? Since I'm in the air? You know, with a flourish. Yeah. Uh, the, that much space over the rocks? <laughs> yeah, make a... Athletics with... Disadvantage. Ooh. 15. 15, okay. So... <laughs> Sora, Captain America shields you up into the air and you flourish, flip through, and are able to land and roll and do one of these. Ta da! It was rolling and Sora's already on the other side. I'm just going to turn around and say to everyone if you're going to do it, do it in style. <laughs> I'd rather not explode myself. Eh, pish posh. Has Sora made has Sora made it easier for us to get through? Yeah, there's a, a bigger gap now. Okay, we're gonna go through that and just be Okay. No need to be fancy. <laughs> yeah, I'm just climbing through. Alright. So you guys are all going to move down. Down to the initial room. And yeah. Hopefully down that other side path that we didn't really get a good look down. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if we killed the necromancer, I don't think there'd be anything still necromantic here. The lichens... And mold still holds the energies. Hmm. Fair enough. Dark right? vision. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> I feel like there's nothing there and we've just been wanting to go down this way for the longest time. It's true. 
Well then. Hey, but we searched everything. Uh, you did. Doesn't hurt to be thorough. <laughs> you did. I, I would. Well, I was literally about to say I would have searched right here. <laughs> Wait, I need to go right here. All right, guys, let me, uh, let me to. There's a path right there. <laughs> yeah, you Anyone guys. Anyone missed sunlight yet? Hmm? Anyone missed sunlight yet? <laughs> yes. You know, fire, radiance, kind of the whole thing going on here. Don't worry, we'll find more zombies for you. All right, so you guys exit the cave and you are, um, you come out, you, the, the brambles have since cooled hours ago. Um, and it's now. The entire forest is burned down. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, it's, no. it's dark out. Um, it's still spring, like early spring. So it, it's pretty cool out and, um, they're the days have not quite lengthened to what they should yet. So it's it's dark pretty early. What sort of wind is blowing? Um, fair wind. It's a cool wind. What direction? Uh, just straight ahead of you. Okay. Should we go straight to... Is it Colossa? While Liam is checking the winds, Flick will look curiously at him and just gently blow in his direction. <laughs> Are you trying to deceive him? No, just mess okay. with him. <laughs> he, keeps, he, he keeps doing this. I've, he has not told us what he's doing. So Why do I smell fish? <laughs> Come now, I've had no fish in days. Nope, I'm done. <laughs> All right. Let's just, go. Let's just go back. Be able to sleep in a nice bed. We all have our own individual rooms, right? We settled that last week? Or last time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you guys are headed back to Red Lark? Yep. Okay. Yes. Unless someone has another destination. In Should we immediately go to Colossa to say that we... Clear. We've done the task. We may as well get paid. Yeah. yeah but and we ever got our advance payment that way. What was that, Sora? She said, uh, Kalisa now, or Kalisa works at the inn that we're going to, that we're mm -hmm. staying in. That's what I'm saying is we could talk to her and sleep. We get that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you guys, um, hike back down the, uh, It's the long road. Okay, you hike, hike north, back north on the long road, um, and you come to, um, it's number two, in case you're looking at the map. That's where you're headed. That is um, the Swinging Sword Inn, and you guys, you know, you're, you're pretty wore out at this point, even though you had the short rest. Like, it's been a long day. You basically got into town, you drank a bunch, uh, you did some exploring, and you just did a whole bunch of uh, killing. fighting and killing. So you guys are exhausted as you step into the Swinging Sword Inn. And it's nighttime, and there are um, quite a few people people in there but it's it's much quieter there's conversation going on um you know around the inn with other people that are staying there um but it's 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 more it's not raucous or anything like that there's some music playing someone in the corner that's just strumming like a, a li liar li liar liar thank you <laughs> And think it, think William. Uh, and uh, you see uh, Kalesa just um, kind of going between the tables, you know, tidying things up, uh, just generally helping, making sure people's drinks are full. And she sees you guys come in. 
Oi. You all made it back. What'd you say? Kendra's covered in blood. I'm covered in blood. Yeah, you've got you've got just blood on you. Um and Kayla she, she doesn't notice you at first. Um but she's a big smile comes across her face. She's like, Oh you lot her back. Did you did you go to Lance Rock? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it was quite the adventure. Turns out there was something there. Really now? Come come over come this way. Come this way. And she leads you over to a, a big round table that's uh, pretty open um, with enough chairs for all of you. And as you all start to sit down, um, that's where she really starts to take each of you in. Um, and she notices uh, Kendra definitely has blood all over you. And uh, so you uh, are you all all right? Most of that's not hers. Oh. Define all right. Oh, here, here, dear. And she holds out a like a little hanky towards you. Thank you. So, Just... what did you find there? Before we do that, can we all get a tankard of ale? Of course, of course. I, I'm so sorry. It's been a bit of a long day. <laughs> She gets up, she uh, scuttles over to the area and she grabs a tray and fills it with a bunch of ale and comes back, uh, hands each of you a mug of it and then sits down. So what was in there then? A bit of a spotty old necromancer in, the, in a cave beneath the rock. A necromancer. You've got to be bloody seems to have called himself the King of Lance Rock and had signs up. You don't say. There was a strange, there was a strange orb as well with a symbol hovering above it, but as soon as we removed the orb, the symbol was gone. What did the symbol look like? Well, my journal and I, since I drew it and I show it to her. She leans in close. I don't think I've seen that before. At the same time, can I pull out the cloak that I had earlier mm -hmm. and ask her if she's familiar with this symbol? She reaches out and pulls it close. She says, I, I have seen this before. Where did I see it? Where did I see it? Someone came through town not too long ago wearing that. I think it was a young woman. Ah, uh, she's shorter, but yeah, she was wearing that. Do you think the necromancer killed her? Possibility. What did she look like? I remember. She had blonde hair. Hair is about shoulder length. As, this is, as we're discussing this, Liam takes the cloak and just starts wiping Kendra's face. <laughs> Wipes the blood off with the cloak. Why? 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 Kendra, why, why? the moment the cloak touches your face, um, you get a sense something really familiar. Um, and it's it's not just a sense from your amulet it's also you smell something very familiar to you i as soon as i notice it i just take it from liam just just looking at it studying it very intensely i was just fucking around <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you were here when we described it. The crest on there, it's a dark blue crest. And it has, um, it's like the crest is a shield, a blue shield with a gold chevron, uh, silver chevron in it. There's some, um, two little banners on it. Uh, scrolling. Thank you. Scrolling that has script on it. And it says... 
one of them says dutiful to protect and the other one says uh, wisdom and mercy. And there are two uh, like noble royal whippet dogs sitting back to back looking out like the silhouette of them in silver. Have I seen this symbol before? Just looking at it, you don't recognize it, but you still get this sense from your amulet looking upon it that there is something very familiar about this. You just, you know it's important to you. You said there was a woman that came through with this. I, I, yeah, she was, she was younger, uh, you know, uh, shorter than you, but probably younger than a whole lot of you. Did you catch her name? No, no, I don't. I don't remember her name. She, she kind of kept to herself. She didn't actually come in to the inn. Uh, she, honestly, she couldn't afford it. Uh, she went over to uh, the the boarding house. Um, they they have some law areas where uh, people can stay for free. They're not much. It's more of like a kind of a stable area, but it's some hay to sleep on. But that was the last I saw her. I will be right back. She gets up and she heads that she heads that direction. Okay. So while she while Kendra's gone, Liam asks for a couple shots of the, the heavy stuff and, <laughs> and drops in Kendra's drink. What the fuck? <laughs> You know, like, half the shit you're doing is, like, some form of harassment. <laughs> you're that, you're that five-year-old in kindergarten class that, like, yeah, keeps up working the girl he likes. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, um, yeah, Kalesa will grab that for you. Um, the rest of you kind of watch the blood drain from... Kendra's face um, as she uh, excuses herself and quickly leaves. To pet the cat. <laughs> Kendra, I'm not sure you should go alone. No, she's gone. Yeah, I think okay. she's out the door. You can say that as she leaves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she has her own business to see, too. That was abrupt. Do you feel anything, Flick? She did not speak much about her personal matters, and to be honest, neither had I. We were more focused on the conversation of the task. She's a very private person. Well, that cloak seemed to mean something to her. Do you it's think- It's not something I know anything about, I'm afraid. Do you think she'll be all right? She looked pretty beat up. Someone should probably follow after her. So I'll flick will stand up after a moment, take another swig of her own ale and follow Kendra out, but trying to keep close enough to see where she's going. Flick is good at moving at night. So, and can probably yeah. see much farther than Kendra can. <laughs> All right. So where are you headed, Kendra? So she said something about like a boarding house. Mm -hmm. Where? What number was that? Um. No one's told you. <laughs> that's, that's correct. <laughs> I guess first things first. Look around. She said it was more like a stable area. So look for stables. Um, the inn has a kind of, uh, stable off to the side. Um, you see the, uh, Helmet High Sun across the road has, uh, not a stable so much, but kind of an area where horses can be tied off. Um, 
up and down the road. You just, you don't really see stables. You see just various areas where other buildings and it's night. So it, it is getting kind of dark. Is there anyone still in the streets? Yeah, there's, there's, especially at high sun, helmet high sun, there's people all over. A lot of noise and such coming from in there. Well, any chance I could approach someone to just kind of ask for direction? Yeah. Yeah. We all heard the same conversation. Yeah, there's a, there's a old guy sitting on the front. Uh, he has both arms just kind of, he's sitting on the porch and he's got both arms sitting over the rail, feet hanging off the porch and he's got a mug of ale in his hand. He's just watching you two. Just approaching. Yes, sir. Could you point us in the direction of the boarding house? Yolanta's boarding house? I believe so. Yeah. Keep going. Just pass this way. Down the Thank road. You. Oh, anywhere that uh, any jewelers might still be open this time? Jewelers. Uh, I don't think we have any jewelers in this area. Yeah, that's all right then. Just a passing thought. Yeah, but Mother Yolanta's right behind Helm. So it's number four is essentially what it is. Okay, cool. I'll approach Kendra and just tap her shoulder and says, let's uh, know where we're going first, shall we? <clears throat> like, I appreciate the help, but... Why are you helping? Come now, we've been on the road for some time now. Is there a reason I shouldn't help a friend? I guess there isn't, but... If we find the person I'm looking for, ask no questions. I can agree to that. Okay. Good. Okay, so you guys come to Mother Yolanta's. Um, this is a three-story building. Um, it's dilapidated. Uh, it's pretty old and broken down looking. Uh, it's a boarding house. It has many balconies and outside staircases. Um, inside, when you guys go in through the front door, uh, the place is a warren of narrow, creaky floored passages. Um, that snake around small rooms of flimsy partition walls. Um, it, despite it looking pretty broken down and, you know, very poor looking, it, uh, it, it has a cheerful, um, if generally noisy, atmosphere. Okay. Well, like we'll just... Remain silent, but gesture that she's following after Kendra. Okay. So Kendra will uh, look around for anyone who seems to be in charge. Looking, uh, looking around for anyone like behind a desk or someone who seems to be very authoritative around the area. Mm -hmm. So you don't see anyone in particular, but as you're looking around, another person kind of sticks their head out uh, as they hear you pass by and they of their little partitioned room and they see you looking around. They're saying, are you looking for mother Yolanta? Oh, um, yes, actually. I wanted to ask her about if she'd seen someone come through here. Yeah. Mother's down that way. Uh, you want to make go straight down there, make a left and then another right. And, uh, I think, I think she was cleaning the room in the back. Thank you. All right. So you kind of make okay. your way down there. And as you're walking down these halls, you're very determined, but you're also kind of in a haze just because of. I'm so tired. Yeah. You are exhausted and 
You're still covered in blood. Um, I'll hold out a little jar of uh, something that I gave the other two earlier to help them wake up. <laughs> Need a little aid, Kendra, dear? No, I'm fine. All right, so you come to a uh, partitioned off area where there's several beds in there, and you see a rail thin female in there. Um, and she's in a like a just a long skirt uh, shirt that looks pretty ragged, but it's it's in one piece. Um, and uh, wrinkled skin, stringy brown hair that's in a drooping, messy bun. Um, and she's got a pipe in her mouth that just kind of like off to the side. She's kind of like Hannibal. She's got it off to the side of her mouth with just smoke coming out and she's just puffing on it. She sees you guys come in. Oi. You two need a room. Um, No. I was told that there was a, a girl who came here a while ago that, that had this cloak on. She reaches out as you hand her the cloak and she takes a good look at it. Oh yeah, I remember that crest. Hands it back. Young girl. She, uh, she didn't have the money for an actual room. We have stables out back, but I just didn't trust, uh, I didn't trust her being out there by herself. So I put her back in this room, follow me. And she takes you, uh, through the house and, uh, some more hallways and there's up some stairs and there's this little area that's a little bit more closed off. Um, and she just pulls the curtain back though and says, yeah, this is, this is where she s slept for the night. Sweet thing, quiet, shy. Didn't feel right putting her outside. Did she give you her name? I want to say it was Alyssa, Alice, something Alice? along those lines. Yeah. Her name was Alice? Do you know her? I have been looking for her for a very long time. She's very important to me. Well, she left here a few days ago. I haven't seen her since, but I don't think she left anything behind. I cleaned this room pretty good. She left without a word. You're Thank you. free to look around if you want, but there's, I'm pretty thorough in my cleaning. And she walks away. Kendra will probably fruitlessly uh, look around, mm -hmm. trying to find any sign of her at all. Okay. <coughs> yeah, you, you don't really find anything. I'd imagine someone else has slept there in the meantime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's, in Red Larch, there's a ton of people coming in and out, workers, people going through. So yeah, there's, rooms get taken pretty quickly. She was here. I just needed to be quicker. I needed to be here. She would have, maybe we We're done here. Let's go flick. Back to the end. Alright. The road we traveled was long. It's unlikely that if she took the same route, we would have passed. Just wish I had seen her. Flick will give a gentle touch on uh, Kendra's shoulder as they make their way out. So you guys make your way back to, um, well, before heading yeah. back, I'm just hoping to, uh, you know, 
It is late, but I'm hoping to find something, if there's a bit of a chance that someone might still be open. So, if you could go on ahead and let them know that at least you are right for now. Okay. All right, so, Kendra, you head back to um, the Swinging Sword. Uh, are you going to remain downstairs? Or do you go on to bed? She is going to, if her drink is still there, down it and go to her room. Okay, so the rest of you watch Kendra walk back in alone. Uh, she walks straight up to the table, grabs the drink, stares at it for a second, and then downs it in one <coughs> with the added shots to it, and then makes her way back to her room. C coughing a bit from the strength of the alcohol. <laughs> Something is clearly bothering her. <laughs> She's going to need that sleep. Should let her be right now and check on her in the morning. I would agree. We've all got our own personal stories and issues. I don't feel comfortable enough prying into hers, given the fact that we only just met. I'm but, getting this feeling Flick might be the only character who doesn't have some terrible things in their backstory. <laughs> Flick is kind of mundane. <laughs> <laughs> She's just traveled a very long way. So I got an interesting question. Would there be anywhere on a wall in the end right now or in the room that we're in that kind of shows a map of Red Lark or at least the uh, kind of like the overview that we're seeing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, for the in, I, I would say it would probably be safe to assume there's probably a big framed wooden map of Red Lark, um, probably behind uh, the serving area. Um, where she, you know, checks people in, gets their money, hands the keys out, things like that. Um, that way people, you know, she can easily give directions to people. So from where I'm sitting, because I haven't been drinking enough yet, I want to say that I caught a view of that map. Sure. And I'm going to get up and walk up to it. And I'm going to look at it. And I'm noticing the compass. Mm -hmm. And the symbol of the compass. I'm going to walk back to my table. And say, you remember that symbol that was above the glowing orb that disappeared? Do you? Can you come, come with me? Come look at this map. All right. So I bring them over. Liam, Liam stays at the table and it's just people watching. Okay, so Sora, you coming with me? Is he people watching or drink watching? <laughs> people watching. <laughs> drink watching. <laughs> Sora, do you think that this compass symbol looks awfully similar to the symbol that was above the glowing orb? does very much so appear to be that symbol I, I i don't know what it means but i it just caught my eye and i don't i don't know if it maybe represents red march in of itself or if this is a, a bigger picture but part of me wants to take the map off the wall find kendra Get the stone, and look at this map with the stone to see if 
something would be illuminated. Ooh. So you think that's it's something like that we should look into then? That's my first guess. Oh, it just means we go north. So I I turn and kind of pull over, uh, is it Kalasa? Kalasa. Kalasa. And Kalasa, do you, is there anything special <laughs> about this symbol that's on the compass? She turns around and looks at the map and... Uh, she kind of does a double take. She turns and looks, and then she's like, and she peers at it closer. She's like, bloody hell, someone's been writing on the map. And she reaches up and kind of, you know, does one of these, remembers its paper and pulls back and realizes, ah, someone's been writing on it. But yeah, that's the compass. What about it? I didn't hear you, Maria. Sora. <laughs> so do you mind if we borrow that map? I mean, it's... It's kind of my, my only map. There, there are other map places. You know, you can get some maps over at uh, Valivu's. Sundries. But uh, this one... It's, you know, it's framed and everything. I, I really can't be giving it out. No, no, no. I don't want to take it anywhere. I mean, I want to take it to a room. I'm not going to do anything to it. I just, I need to examine it. But I promise you, you can have it back on the wall. She's looking like struggling, like no one's ever asked to take their framed map off the wall before. <laughs> so she's like, like taking someone's like framed yeah. doll or yeah. <laughs> like like their family framed pictures from their wall or something. <laughs> She's kind of like, all right. Can't you look at it here? <laughs> kind of sets it onto the bar and is like, you promised to bring it back. You have my word, in the word of Bahamut. All right. By the way, she slaps down a little sack of gold uh, which is the remaining 50 I believe we never got the down payment I don't think oh you guys didn't add it she gave you no. 50 gold down payment so this is the remaining so you guys have 100 gold to <clears throat> separate between you I can't thank you enough for what you've done for Red Larch I mean <laughs> Look at me being all, this is my map after everything you've just done for us. But uh, take the gold, take the map. Uh, it, if you don't mind returning it, though, it, it just kind of goes nicely on the wall. I'm going to get to that, I promise. I just need it. Flick, are you at the table? No, no. Flick, hasn't, Flick hasn't come back to the inn yet. Okay. I want to look at this closely, but I promise you it'll be back on your wall very, very soon. <laughs> very fast. By tomorrow, even. Alright. Sounds good. And she walks away and kind of points at Jalita, who happens to be standing not too far away, and you see her kind of doing this, and then Jalita walks over to where the map used to be, pulls out a duster and starts dusting the area that, because now that you see this big blank spot. I, uh, I, I, I hate to do this, but I just got a very serious message from my sister, so I need to go. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh, hope it's all right. Yeah. Yeah, hope it's okay. Uh, We're getting close to being done anyways, but so are you guys uh, headed to your rooms? So we, I think we should go back to Liam. 
and uh, basically we fill in Liam that I was pointing out this compass symbol and the fact that it matches very closely to the symbol that was above the orb thing and Colossa has allowed us to look into it and give back the map but we'll wait, since Kendra went to bed who has the orb we'll have to do it in the morning Sora do you want to hold on to it since you got the permission to take it yeah, I'll do that. I'll uh, I'll keep it safe, and hopefully in the morning we can examine it closely. And uh, I don't even know if the stone will do anything, but it's worth a shot. Uh, yeah, I would. I mean, it, I find it very interesting that the symbol is there, and she said mm -hmm. it's been written on. I'm surprised you saw it. It's so small. This map in particular is big. It's probably about like this big. Like it, it's a standard piece on the wall. So like as you're walking with it, it's, well, you're seven feet tall, so you're fine. But it's like, yeah, if Liam were to carry it, it would be arms, arms length. Sora is like two feet taller than Flick. <laughs> Use me as the uh, as the as the light. <laughs> Same. So, um, do any of the other symbols on the corners? No, just ignore that those are there. Those are base. Those are just basic alchemical symbols. Just checking. I mean, I could be pulling shit out of my ass right now, but I'm like, that symbol matches. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, mean, I, was, I looked up. And it might not be, we don't know. Maybe they have something to do with the campaign, but they're like classical alchemical. Which there's actually some in the art for Flick on one of her gauntlets. Completely unrelated to the map. So they might be related. It might not be. I'm sorry. I'm good at like picking out little details sometimes, and I just it, as soon as I started looking at the map, I was like, I was zoomed in on the map. So I didn't even see the compass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you you would recognize that's the same symbol. Even though, I like. For a second, I was really debating on whether I should even say anything, because, like, I guess it's not really investigation, because that would be negative for me, but <laughs> I was like... More perception, well, I'd say. Well, if you're looking at the map, we'll say, you know, I mean, you guys saw the map, too, when you came in, um, but if you were looking, it, it is a big piece on the wall, and you walked over there to look at it, too. My yeah, my perception's pretty good, so I'm pointing it out. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess I down the ale that Liam had bought. And probably one, spike. one. <laughs> and I think it's time to go to bed. Just just so, just so you guys all know, Liam didn't spike any ales. He just was. People watching. He only did that to Kendra because he felt that Kendra uh, could probably use the uh, deeper sleep. <laughs> Which, uh, Liam, let's say two silver for all the ale. Liam's not going to partake of the, uh, the, what do you call it, the spoils from the trip. And uh, he's just going to tell them just take his money, take the money and put it towards the, uh, his tab. Everyone gets 20 gold. <laughs> so you're not taking the 20 gold? So not as Liam, but but as myself, like met, metagame, um, I actually feel pretty bad taking that, the spoils, considering it's not those gems. So, um... No, don't... Yeah. You don't feel bad about that kind of stuff. Like, that, if that's part of your character, play them... Yeah, yeah, totally play your character. 
then I'm still not going to take the money because Liam is very much like money comes, money goes, spend it. Yeah. yeah I'm also not taking the money. Like, I wanted to give it back to her. All right. So 20 gold. I'm going to see if I can. Uh, yeah. Flick will absolutely take the money, but she's not there at the moment. <laughs> I'm going to add 20 gold to of that gold to Kendra since she's not here. All right. Um, so, are you three headed to bed then? Yes. Okay. Flick. Liam's not. He's gonna. Oh, Liam's staying up. Watching. Okay. And uh, when they're gone, he's just gonna leave. He's gonna sleep out in the uh, he's under the stars. Okay. Weird elf boy. <laughs> so, what are yeah, you doing, Flick? Flick? Uh, Flick is trying to see if there's any kind of merchant still operating this late because there are materials she's she's looking for. Um, oh, which way do you want to go? Well, which way looks like it has more shops and more people that might still be on the streets? Um, at this point, most of the people are... Most of the people are either at, like, the helm, uh, the inn, you know, they're kind of getting ready to settle down, um, or they're out having a drink. Um, those that are strolling are probably on their way to head home. Um, yeah, I was just, it's, in order to do most of the stuff I got for level two, a specific job yeah. before lock. So I'm like, ah. Yeah. Um, I need a pearl worth 100 gold points, gold pieces. Well, I would say, let's say you passed the uh, old drunk guy again on your way back and asked him about it. And he basically said, uh, yeah, there's possibly two spots. Pearl, eh? You could either yes, try yes. uh Valibos, Valibos Sundries down south, uh, or what's the other place? Uh, there's also a. Uh... <laughs> Let me find the name of it. Ah, he leans in. There's also Gelkers. But uh, if you go to Gelkers, you didn't hear it from me. And you're not going to well, find it know. straight off How the bat. I hear it from you? <laughs> Just point me in the right direction. That sounds promising. Why don't you hit up Valibos first? South of the road. Uh, all the way down the long road south, it's the last big building on your left. Right, left. Number 22. Thank you kindly, sir. Hmm. I'll pass him a silver piece to refill his ale. <sighs> he cheers you. Thank you, sir. I have a jolly night. Jolly, yes. <laughs> off to the store all right so you make your way down the road um until you come to Balibos. all right Balibos sundries so it's pretty dark but um aside from like what you can see uh there's some bewildering profusion of doors, uh, barrels, rotting old furniture, tools, like leaning against the outside walls. This building looks like a private home. Um, but it's, and there's a small faded sign on the front door that reads Valivo's Sundries. 
Um, when you walk into the building, you hear a slight little ding ding. It's not locked, is it? No, no. You walk right in and you hear the little bell and you just see just mountains of um, supplies, everything you can think of. They're just scattered all over the place. It looks like a hoarder's dream. Um, there's just stuff crammed in every nook and cranny. There's like walk pathways, but they are made, they're not from hallways. They're made from um, items and things stacked up. Uh, kind of like a room of requirement type deal, but very much more scattered and, you know, just filled. And there's soft, you know, yellow light in the area. It's well lit. And you hear a voice far in the back uh, saying, oh, hello? Hello? Yes, hello. Good it's evening. I apologize for coming by so late, but we just returned to town and I was hoping to find a few small items you may be able to. Um, so you hear some scuttling and suddenly you see a, a, a little short, young, a short, older man, um, you know, graying hair, big spectacles, um, like pieces of glass that are pretty thick. And um, is he human? Yes, he's a human male. Um, and uh, he says, oh, I'm so sorry. I couldn't hear you from the back. What were you saying? No worries. We've just returned to town, and I apologize for coming by so late, but I was hoping to find a few items that would assist me in my works. Now, what kind of works are you doing? Oh, crafting new devices and tools for my trade, and she just flick, lifts the large brass and steel monstrosity that is her alchemical and just kind of gestures to it. Oh. Says, I was hoping to find some tools to do some maintenance and some other works on this. If you might have some spare tinkers tools mm. and perhaps I'm looking for supplies of pearl. Mm. He adjusts his glasses and kind of looks a little bit more. Yes, yes, I see. And he looks back at you Ah, you're a tinker of sorts, I see. Okay, tabaxi, yes? Yes, I'm quite far from home. Yes, all right. I do yeah, believe... This is quite a trip down here from Yartar. Ah, from Yartar. All right, I do get some of my things from Yartar. Uh, let me see what I can find. Stand by one moment. I know exactly where there is a pearl. Any... You hear him scuttle off, uh, and if you try and follow, you're going to lose him pretty quickly. Um, you you hear some things shifting, and then he's momentarily coming back to you, um, and he's got a small little pouch that you have no idea how he found that in this stuff, but he holds it out, pulls it open. One pearl. Uh, Excellent. How much are those pearls? Uh, 100 GP is what I need. Okay. It's the specific value that I need. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So it, it'll be 100 gold pieces. And did you have an extra set of uh, Tinker's tools? He smiles. <laughs> he smiles and he's like, I've got that too. And holds that out. Excellent. That should be all I need at this time, but uh, you do seem well supplied. I'm sure we'll make quite a good friends. Oh, I, Valimos has everything you need. Uh, if you can't find it yourself, just let me know. I know exactly where everything is. So how much for the two? A hundred gold for the pearl and then 50 gold for the tools. That seems fair to me. And she'll draw out her gold from her supply. 
She doesn't have the 20 from the inn yet. <laughs> yeah. But I still have 154. Yeah. Well, good doing business with you. Even though it's yeah. late, where are you headed? Oh, back to the Swinging Sword Inn for the night. And then we'll see from there. Hmm. You, you look quite tired. Yes, it's been a very long day. We arrived in Red Lodge earlier today and then left and then came back. Mm -hmm. Seeing the sights? Oh, yes. We traveled out to um, Lance Rock earlier and got quite the view from the top of it. He adjusts his glasses. Lance Rock? That's quite a uh, dangerous area, I hear. Strange going-ons. Oh, it wasn't nothing me and my companions were unable to handle. So you ran into some trouble, I see? Oh, there's always trouble on the roads these days. Hmm. Well, if you've any interest in Red helping Red Larch, uh, I don't know if you've heard of some of the recent troubles going on, but you look like a strapping lad. Ah, let me get back. <laughs> ah. Okay. Um, he says, I don't know if it's relevant, but I did overhear someone say that they saw a skull pinned to a tree with a black arrow, like some kind of dire warning or ill omen or something. Not even sure what exactly you're in town for, but someone mentioned it. And if you happen to be walking along the large path, it's about four miles east of the hills. Well, that certainly sounds like an interesting see. I may find my way out there taking a look before too long. Well, if it is an item of interest, I'll be happy to buy purchase it off of you. Oh, that sounds like a good deal, but I may even find something I'd like to trade for as well. You seem to have just about everything I may need. Valivos is here for you. Please come back again. I certainly will. Thank you. He scuttles off, disappears. Well, that's what I needed for the night. Back to the end. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <coughs> so. And after a long rest, I shouldn't have to worry about being over encumbered anymore. Yeah. Oh, that's right, you were. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Stop. So you guys get back to the you get back to the end, flick and. Um, you guys kind of each go to your perspective rooms um, that you have rented and everyone definitely gets a long, much needed rest. Um, and that is definitely where we're going to end it for the night. So should we go ahead and just do the long rest stuff so we start with being refreshed or wait for next week to apply yeah you can go ahead and do it now all right at just as a passing note in the morning uh flick is probably going to co-opt the kitchen because there was rumors of the food here not being not being what we, we the tavern told us the food here wasn't good <laughs> flick is a cook so she can uh make something better mm-hmm <laughs> it will be served in beakers and test tubes, but it will be good. <laughs> yeah. Wait, she does have proficiency in cooked food, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, so definitely. Um... It felt like a good thing to add on to an alchemist-type character. <laughs> along the way around food as well as potions. Yeah. So no, no acid in the steak. <laughs> you guys can all do the long rest and... Um... Uh, all s uh, yes, long rest, and then we <clears throat> will pick up um, 
in two Saturdays, I think. Yep. Unless everybody wants to do next week as well. I guess Kendra's not here. Yeah. I can't I, uh, have, a, have a baby shower. I guess, yeah. Babies! <laughs> My friends and I are slowly starting to like do face-to-face -face hangouts again, mm -hmm. but we're doing long-term planning for that, and we've made plans to see each other next week for like a month now. So, Aww. gotcha. I can't bail. Two weeks. Yeah. Two, Two weeks. weeks yeah. Two weeks. And then Flick actually gets to have all our level two stuff done. Yeah. Good job, guys. Uh, I need stuff. I was hoping we'd hit level three today. Um, actually, uh, that was another thing. Uh, you guys can add, let's say, uh, 50 XP just for role play. Because you guys did really good on role playing. Why did it go back now? What the hell? Yep. And then. So we should be at. Uh... So, when Flick wakes up, she will have a uh, an animated cauldron on spider legs and a bag of. <laughs> Wait, why would we be at seven seventeen? I'm at six ninety seven. I'm at six ninety seven as well. Also at six ninety seven. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I really put a fifty in. I don't know why this. It didn't even save my one sixty seven, which was weird. So what is it? What's the six ninety seven? Six ninety seven. I'm mm -hmm. gonna force it to go there. There we go. Don't know why. All right, you guys did awesome. Um, yeah, and we will pick up in two weeks. Uh. Cool. With a brand new day. Long rested. Still kind of smelly and dirty, but long rested. Except for Flick, because she cleans herself. <laughs> Advantages. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I the only damage I took was falling on my own ass. So. I took no damage. Yeah, you, you sweated times. swinging a lot. <laughs> Thinking, you attacked me how many times? And a single one hit. I know you're not talking to me right now. <laughs> what would have been funny too is if we got to the necromancer and he hit me, I have resistance to necrotic damage. Whatever. I hate uh, you all. Flick just generally smells faintly of burnt hair anyway. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. Have a good night. And see guys. we'll see you in Have two weeks. Had a lot of fun. Bye. Bye. You should all get, uh, you should